And Stevie, what the fuck? Oh, I know. <laughs> gotta cover Ru- up. Ruining his night. It's a jelly over there. That's <laughs> how I get back in shape. I gotta get it going. Y'all all infidels. That's right. Mike, check one, two here. Twitch.tv slash conspiracy horseman. Your Wednesday night truth seeking mission. Uh, the, the frequency show hopefully will come in loud and clear tonight with this uh, new 5G platform we're going to be talking about. Uh, why what they're doing the pulling the wool over your eyes because right now we're about to do it real right here for my man big sal is back in the house so stop what you're doing because we're about to ruin the truth seeking style that you're used to we look funny yo and yo we're not making money yet but see yo world i hope you're ready for me now gather around because we're the new crew in town and my sounds laid down by the underground and that's you infidels here at the conspiracy horseman twitch.tv hackerhameen.podbean.com russo brand yo <laughs> Yo guys, what's good? I feel like my mic is super hot right now. You might have to gear me back just a little bit and hopefully pump the rest of the faders here. But yeah, you're in the place to be, guys, as the chat room loads up or wherever you guys are listening to us. We appreciate it. I am the hacker Ben Hameen here with uh, my boys from the Conspiracy Horseman. Big Stevie Cool, GGP, and Big Sal back in the saddle. Glad to have you, buddy. Sal, if you can til- tilt your camera down just a hair for me. Oh, sorry to mean to step on your thank no, you, no, buddy. No. Nope. We missed you. Better? Yeah. I, I'm just on Twitch. You're, you're cut off right at your glasses. I wanted to or tilt it up. Can, I mean, can, can I just say something real quick? Yeah. Stevie's background looks like a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, and allow me, allow me to say, you know what, dude? I just want to step in because I, I was going to contact you during while this was all going on, but my mother's nonstop. <laughs> she goes back and forth between <laughs> Lifetime and Hallmark. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but fucking Christmas movies. Nice. Oh, oh, my God. And it's all the same people. We just watched uh, Reunited at Christmas in the Hallmark. I'll have my review later on in the show. We'll wait until the <laughs> chat room fills up. We'll talk about this. Uh, they, they tried to throw a little drama in there. We were we were hot. My, my wife and I were like, I want to escape all this bullshit. Like, first five, ten minutes, divorce, and, you know, sudden engagement. She doesn't want to get married. I was just like, man, just stick to the formula. We'll talk a full review later in the show, and then I'm sure everybody will stick around. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did uh, they say they're going to come up and shake things up and nothing happened? They did. Oh, all wow, four dude. McMahons were in the middle of the snow talking about how they're going to have all new characters on the Hallmark Channel because they only have like nine actors that, that act in all the movies. <laughs> they make them oh. in 12, 13 days. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm still, I haven't given up. So maybe, maybe your mom and I can watch like over Twitch on the oh. Twitch channel. Oh, and dude, watch I think. I was twitching enough for everybody. Dude, big big <laughs> joke now, but Russo's biggest show that he ever had was that goddamn, uh, what the hell's it called? Teen, uh, Teen Mom, Mom. Right? yeah, right. So, like, <laughs> oh yeah, with uh, uh, Hito's wife. Yeah, so yeah. really big rib now till Hallmark Channel reviews with Stevie Richards and Big Sales Mom becomes the number one show on Hameen platform. Uh, but here's here's the deal. There's a good chance. Kenny Omega is already doing it. Oh yeah, well, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, okay, wow. I'll do that one. Like that, I wasn't wow. expecting that. Zinger. Got there him. were flames coming out of my eyes, <laughs> and I saw the, the. Oh, here's a cat shirt. Like it's never been out on fucking pro wrestling tees before. Yeah, <laughs> right. Got nine of them off there. The, <laughs> What did you think about that? Because you you know kind of no sold my tweet, so I wasn't sure if you were hot about it. But you saw those guys at TLC. I thought you'd pop huge for that. I did. No, oh. I I wasn't disagreeing when you said I might there might have been money exchange. I mean, <laughs> might have been, you know. I mean, they'd pay for. I'm saying, figuring all the other people seem to be plants in the audience. Why, Why I just fill my own in there? <laughs> I, I was well, just not the empty seats we saw on Tuesday. No, <laughs> I caught it. I was I was happy in my old ass eyes. I was like, are those guys holding up cat signs? Back that shit up thirty seconds, and sure as shit, they're just flash big signs of cats, and then boom, it was back. It popped yeah. the shit out of me. By the way, if Vince was smart, the way he can get out. If you guys didn't watch Tuesday, which hopefully nobody did, uh, Jeff Hardy got out of the ring on the hard cam side. And no shit, it looked like a VFW indie show where every other chair was empty in the first four rows. Yeah. And all I could think of Vince goes, well, of course, pal, I'm a Mason. It's now, you know, every other one was empty. I'm sending (laughs) symbolism. Check everybody out there. Yeah. Yeah. Is he a Mason? I think he's a a 33rd degree full without, like, having to go to any lodge or anything like that. I'm sure he just made a donation. 
But, I mean, there's no way you're going to be doing shit like the Ascension stuff without being fully behind the masonry gimmick, you know? There's so much. And not it doing it right. Like yeah. being allowed to do it totally bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Speaking about seeing ahead. fucked up things this week, anyone see Artie Lang's nose? Yeah. What was going on? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, like, man. You, I, I thought Google he had the image. Done. Google the image, dude. Holy God. shit. All the cocaine killed his nose. Yeah, collapsed. Killed. Oh, collapse is beyond the word. Yeah. It looks like a cartoon. Yeah, man. That dude's a hardcore addict, bro. Funny dude, but still, I mean. Uh, he needs some SRF fitness in his life. Uh, it's beyond that. You, you, contact know, him. you know what he's no, really. Contact should. Him on you know what he's really, really good on? And he's playing Coke? himself. Well, he's playing himself and he's playing the serious part of the addiction. It's crashing which is Pete Holmes, uh, this comedian who I came up with in Chicago show. He's like a super, uh, almost like a Quaker type kind of guy, innocence, you know what I mean? And he wants to get into stand-up, and he ends up crashing on Artie's couch, a bunch of different comedians' couches as oh, he starts I saw, to make I it. Caught, I caught that. Um, yeah. Uh, the guy the guy who's a comedian, you want to you get behind him, but yeah. you can't because you just want to beat the shit out of him. Dude, that's pretty much you, how, I mean, how he is. is he's so... Funny, quick-witted, but he really is like a, a kind of an eight-year-old forever. Yeah. <laughs> so in his in his naivety, so uh, it's good. But Artie really does show the addict side of himself on that show. There's a lot of great comedians on there. It's a, it's, it's, yeah, that's the first around. episode. So if you want to, yeah, that's mm. it's worth checking it out just for that first shot. Yeah, Artie's on like four or five episodes. Like he's he's a secondary subplot character. Yeah. Um, yeah, by, by, by the way, he has uh, his nose has a, has a Twitter account, of course. Does uh, Lang's, <laughs> Lang's nose on Twitter. Oh well, actually, uh, tri their Triple H's nose actually has an account has an account too. Really? Yeah. Well, I know who runs it too. <laughs> not me. Uh -huh. not me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, but that was that was it's uh, I think it's game at game nose. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> at uh, triple h underscore nose or yeah, at yeah. triple h at nose of noses <laughs> dude yeah. i just sent the picture to the to to the group you guys oh, yeah he's it fucked out. bro he's after over hardcore <laughs> thought wow, he had work done man no he had snorted Same glass jazz. by by accident <laughs> like by accident that's, dude, well that's bad. Uh, to be to be uh to be fair i've Oh, I've seen people take pills that they were very upset that they found out that they were aspirin and the pills that they wanted to take were still in their bag. So they were sitting on the plane, on a plane, mind you. Were going, there snakes on the plane? There were no motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane, but okay. there was an angry fucking person screaming that, why the fuck, this? I got robbed, I got robbed, I got robbed, until we got to the rental car. And then he found the pills he wanted to take before he got on the plane because they were still in his bag. Wow. So, yeah. Dude, I, I don't, I say, I see that there's 38 people here, but I'm not seeing anything in the chat room. I'm going to refresh my Twitch. No, we got the chat rooms going pretty strong. Oh, we actually I'm got, um, shit. um, XR Butcher cheered, uh, 200 bits. We also have, uh, Reverend Smiley, that these people are throwing all these now. Now this is like a Luciferian star diamond <laughs> for a hundred bits. Right, I got. I got uh, we also there. have now they, they they threw the singles in here to try to throw me off. I'm gonna go to the pop up thing here. <laughs> uh, oh fuck it, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, all right, we got a few more. And then we got Armand uh, with two hundred. Yeah, I was on. I went on right after uh, on Raw while I was over here by myself because I didn't hang out with my buddies. Uh, because I was marking off with a 3D printer. So, <clears throat> that's your new buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, I've got new friends now. I'll, I'll, I'll make my own friends. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it was, they, they cheered uh, even during that. So it was cool to be on with those guys. Kind of didn't ask me anything. Um, but yeah, man, uh, we, we, we survived it another week. Uh, last night was, uh, Good time on uh, Master Shoot Theater. So if you haven't subscribed to Russo Brand, get your free month. You want to listen to it. Uh, it was a lot of fun last night. Uh, but uh, around the horn, GGP, what's good, man? How are you, buddy? Doing well, brother. Doing well. Uh, looking forward to this episode. Did a lot of interesting uh, digging about 5G, and uh, it isn't as good as it seems to, to be. And uh, good video by Stevie, by the way, in the group for, on 5G. So that was... That was very informative. Um, 
just looking forward to uh, enlightening the masses like we always do. Yeah, man, it's uh, pretty crazy because I was, you know, out of, I'm a little out... upset. Yeah, go ahead. Please go ahead. Cause Stevie's because Stevie's wearing fucking sleeves. I know, man. Listen, know, someone, so. someone wants Stevie to take off his shirt. Drop ten thousand, twenty thousand. <laughs> right now, and we'll ask Stevie <laughs> to show you his guns. <laughs> For 100,000 pits, he'll take off his pants. Oh, boy. See the position? They're already off. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pal. That's right. We don't yeah, wear pants. Yeah, somebody go We're doing creative. A little pants off, dance off. <laughs> I, got the, uh, I got the text today, by the way, um, that there was a rumor, like, why would you why would you stooge off the Vince production meeting crapping his pants story? Why mm -hmm. are you saying the, they're starting to get pressure from the government <laughs> to say? Really, it's somebody, real story, had, somebody on the inside What's was hot about you, Storm. Go ahead. All right. So when I was in WWE, when I was there, so this has been, I don't know if it's still going on today, but I imagine it would. I was told if from the people that more than one, three people on three different occasions, that sometimes Vince would sit there and crap his pants just to see if anyone would sell it in the middle of the production meeting. And just oh, look around. Any more? Money, I would do it. Anybody? <laughs> anybody have anything else? He would just yeah. keep saying it, like over and over again. Anything else? Anybody want to say it? Say it now or forever. Hold your peace. Yeah. 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 Like, I would. If I had his money, I would do it too. No. I would. I would make sure the most powerful guys in the company were there. When I'd look them straight in the eye, I'd be like, Boy. No, but it was like, <laughs> but ba I basically, it was. Shit myself. <laughs> I I was in. I was in a couple of those. Thank God that didn't happen. But. It's a pecking order, so it's a seating arrangement. It's like going to the Bush funeral. Mm. You do, you have the most important people up on that little well, part. I would definitely where, crap myself. And there. then you have the front row of people, and then like, I was like, I was the doorstop. I was actually with the back door. I was actually had my chair yeah. up against the door. That's a, I, I couldn't be in the room, but the door could be allowed to be cracked open, so I could have at least one eye could see what was going on. Not both, because I wasn't. Yeah, exactly. I covered one. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't quite I wasn't quite important enough to even physically be in the room. Damn, you I I'm, I'm just not important enough to be in the room when Vince is shitting his pants. <laughs> Boy, what was me? <laughs> me, I Yeah, but I somehow think... in that bizarre world they they somebody's sitting there trying to politic to be a part of that. I... How would he, how would he be so, that how is that he was so subtle about it? Yeah. Like think about that. Like if you were Vince, would you be that subtle? Wouldn't you? I'd put my pants down and shit on the table and be like, what do we got going on tomorrow? And well, but I think the, the point in part is that he wears $5,000 suits and the fact that, like, you know, he's he'll probably never blasting his pants twice. Yeah, yeah. Either that or he's wearing Depends and he was prepared for it. So he's like, that's how I, op I that's how I opened Master Shoot Theater last night. Wait, Vince is always by himself doing something, and I was like, he gets a knock on the door. I go, oh, I, got, I gotta get rid of these diapers. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, well, you're, the way you do it when the yeah. knock comes. First of all, he doesn't sell like the first two knocks last night. Like, just, <laughs> like the real Vince ignores it too. Yeah. And then like your reaction when you just like, oh, oh, like there's a, <laughs> oh, 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 second. <laughs> yeah, he's always in there pantsless doing something. So yeah, actually, Big Ray brings up a point that it makes me think do you think like there's a certain amount of merch like all the Seamus merch would be well, that's the money I'll spend on my shit pants <laughs> <laughs> listen I don't I, 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 I only uh, a slander lawsuit I am only going off the information of others and I well, I would so almost a I, would almost, yeah. Yeah. I would almost hope to assume that that I would not be uh, subpoenaed <laughs> To testify and give the name of these these particular people. Oh. So, but they they are still with the company. <laughs> so there you go. Excellent, excellent. Every excellent. time somebody buys a Rousey shirt, an angel <laughs> gets his shit wings. <laughs> yeah, it's a shit NATO out there, Randy. <laughs> Fuck, oh it's man, good stuff. Yep. Yeah. So you know, uh, glad to have Big Sally back, man. Uh, obviously, all the love from. Uh, the Horseman, uh, I mean, Media Army, uh, you know, I, we, we were thinking about you, man, I know, and uh, good to see you in good spirits. I can't wait to mark out even more for my 3D printer and just start sending you random shit in the mail that you're going to be like, what the fuck, this fucking guy. I, I can't wait. <laughs> so, but uh, welcome welcome home, buddy. We, we love you. Thanks. We missed you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Everybody in the chat room, a bunch of you guys sent out a lot of reach out, so thank you so much because that was really well, cool. Oh, rounds? Yep. Nice. Yeah, I got a lot of a lot of inbox reach arounds. So uh, thank you guys for that. And uh, it was really cool, especially from 
you fucking scumbags in there. I love right. you guys. Thanks. You're going to go fuck yourself. You're going to go fuck yourself. <laughs> Stevie, uh, hiding, uh, you know, marks from the whipping he's been giving himself with the 16-week band program, putting these videos out for you people so he can uh, get his Nikon 900 so he can finally start looking, you know, at the moon, seeing the 250 million people that live there. How's the experiment going, bud? Um, we're still not quite there yet, but that's okay. Well, I'm going to end up getting it. I'm going to look and see if there's any post, uh, Christmas sales. Uh, the, 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 the band program selling very, very well. I'm actually going to start signing the, uh, personalized autograph pictures to mail out the, to the first 25 orders. So thank Who you for everybody. Up? What's that? Who they of? Oh, Sid. Mm. Okay. Who do you think they are? Yeah, don't, what a stupid question. <laughs> uh, the, <laughs> I should, I should send pictures of other people. <laughs> it's like. Or maybe I'll just get some eight by tens of Odin or something. If you like sign it over. That's good. awesome. You know? good. Awesome. I think probably there'll be a few people that would want a picture of Odin before a picture of me. So that's uh you know, it's a, it's all it's just, it's amazing. Uh Ben had said a couple weeks ago that it's amazing that there are people buying the program now and getting a head start on the new year, new you type mm -hmm. stuff. Cause usually nobody is like I fully expected not to be one sale in December to be like a soft launch, but it's been it's been really good and I'm very appreciative. So and actually tomorrow night on a tech uh, on a tech side, I'm gonna be uh, I think we have a couple of people from that from that stream. I'm gonna be streaming a Mac Pro users uh, group uh, group thing on uh, YouTube with a bunch of other guys that are gonna talk about how Apple is just kind of like fucking over the customers and all the shit they're doing and much like this 5G stuff tonight how technology has kind of taken a turn to to not do positive things for us anymore fucking over the customers the customers and the people that work there uh wild card josh cheer 200 bits thank you man uh yeah stevie you also just dropped uh you know a new video about uh, conquering overcoming fear in 2019 i actually had a lot of people reach out to me in the last 24 hours since i put that out hackerhameen.podbean.com uh, you know, that uh, they, they thought that was one of the best things you've done because there was a real connection in there and in, in, in the honesty of your journey. Uh, so I think, you know, I just look back, not just what you've done with your band program, but when we first started, you wanted to get back on the air and weren't sure what you wanted to do to where you are now doing that. I think that's uh, awesome in a year, 18 months time, man, uh, to go from, you know, kind of in the shadows uh, to get back into podcasting, to having all this stuff to offer. So uh, if you haven't listened to that, it's 20 minutes and uh, that may get you on the track. So you can eat some cheesecake uh, on Tuesday with uh, no, no regrets because you're already ahead of the game. You don't got to worry about uh, January 1st. You already made a, a positive choice. How's that for the show? Was that all right? Is that how you wanted yeah, me to do it? Yeah, hello, everybody. Is that how you wanted me to do it? Yeah. Is that how you told me? No, I, did I say it like you wanted I, me to I, say I appreciate it? that. I, I hope to do it more. One of my fears is that nobody's going to listen or watch the videos or anything, and i got to get over that and, and do it more consistently every week. And whether it's talking about stupid football or something more profound like that, i got to just – throw it out there because i enjoy doing it you know yeah. and then you know i take direction from from you ben when you say hey pal don't look oh, at the camera just yeah. don't, don't look at the camera <laughs> yeah. you know it's a big vince thing yeah it's uh it's I'm every time i say head. every time i said i want to say vince last night guys i was saying vince That's i was it. saying him i think that I just, you I, should do it so we don't get sued that'll be good uh big update uh in new york this week two things nunchucks are will be illegal again uh, you can so if you guys are a chucker and you want to you know carry them around. Uh, so that means you guys better tip your Chinese food delivery guy very well, <laughs> or else you're getting your ass kicked. Bang. Uh, and then uh, I, I don't saw think any Chinese people ever own nunchuck. I think it's all white dudes, yeah. Italian <laughs> white guys. No, but no, no well, Asian people I mean, own chucks. It's all because of Bruce Lee enter the dragon scene, right? Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I saw, Cuomo is going to legalize weed uh, possibly within the first hundred days of uh, 2019. Buy huh. some wheat stocks now. Yeah, guys. that's what I'm saying, guys. So definitely something we need to start looking into because Canada's there. I was looking at a stock up there that went from, I think, eight dollars to twelve dollars because they got a one point eight billion dollar investment from a, a side company from Philip Morris because now Canada's fully legal. So, dude, that that's the net Netflix. That's the next Netflix boom. You know what I mean? Oh, Where it's gonna be bing and then off to the races. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, yeah, a lot of conspiracy horse and we're on talk 5g tonight. We were hoping uh, you know, we wanted to get killer cross on, but his schedule's so booming that, uh, 
I figure he'll reach out to us when he wants to, but, uh, sent out some emails today, uh, or, and, uh, GGP actually put out to, uh, the guy from the disclosure movie for, uh, Skinwalker Ranch, the director there. So he actually responded, GGP followed up with an email and, uh, hopefully we, uh, we can get him booked sometime soon and get a screening of that movie for you guys. Yeah, I reached out. I sent him an email waiting for a response. Hopefully he knows sells me like Stevie. I mean, hopefully he doesn't know sell me like Stevie. And uh, we can get him on the show and give you guys more uh, great listening content. I want, to give hopefully... you a little bit, I want to give you a little bit of advice here, okay? And I say this as a, as a friend that loves you very much. When when you have J- Jeremy Corbell, I think his name yeah, is. Jeremy Corbell. I, I couldn't, I'm sorry, I was blanking. Yeah, so. Jeremy Corbell, yeah. Okay. When he accepts it, do not reach out to the next conspiracy person in your Twitter timeline like two minutes later and start spamming the Twitter timeline. I didn't spam anybody, dude. What you got in about? touch with David Wilcox right after that. Yeah, I know. I sent him something a couple hours later, but regardless of the fact, Jeremy's not going to see it. He doesn't follow me, well, so it doesn't matter. Later. It was 10 minutes later, but who's counting? Why are you all over me like a cheap suit? I'm not. <laughs> Boy, I didn't even get to Jericho yet. The sleeves I didn't are get to Jer- yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop begging Why, Jericho. What happened with Jericho? You know, oh, you, right, you know, now, now you got cruise. your cruise. Now come on the conspiracy horse. But I, I mean, did. it's not. I said, let's do a podcast. Fuck, it's a free, it's a booking. We all get to be on a cruise oh, that's together. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Shit, I'm trying to do it for, for everybody, exactly. man. I'm trying to find brand awareness. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't find my bookie monster gif. I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I was, was too late for with that. <laughs> I just fact you're waiting for was enough for me. B is for <laughs> bookie. That's good enough for me. Yeah. B <laughs> hey, is I'll for bookie. All bookings in any book. As long as the money's there. Yeah. And it has, oh, it's, it's not I just made sure thing. that I sent out a fucking snarky enough Twitter to him that he'll never ask us to do anything. So. Wait what till was I... that? You did send him that. That was yeah, awesome. What, did I... that was, what was it? Well, he's like, oh, big news. I'm like, what is it? A new pilot? Is it? Or maybe you're going to talk about Bush's death. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, He'll shit. never talk oh, to us man. again. Yeah, yeah. We, we could be on the cruise, and you know they're going to be they're, all those fans. There are big fans of the Raw SmackDown review show. I'm sure big Russo fans on that cruise. Yeah. Well, well, we might ship, be a ship with them for four days. <laughs> That's all right. None of us could be. None of them could beat us in a shoot anyway. So it doesn't matter. That's true. <laughs> oh man. Well, I mean, I'm actually going to print you an Iron Man suit so you can start doing birthday parties. I'm going to get you all the bookings you can handle on Long Island. Ten year old birthday parties all summer it. long. It's going to be good. We're going to get 1,200 it. bucks a pop, but you're going to be in an Iron Man suit all all summer. True story. 1993. I was a Ninja Turtle that entire summer at birthday parties. Nice. Which one, <laughs> Raphael? No, it was Donatello. It was the only, they, we only had one suit. You'd have been a way better shredder, like fucking massive dude, and then fucking. No, they had, the, they had a giant suit. I was the only one who fit the suit. <laughs> I, did, I did turtle, birthday dude. parties. I was yep. say, he's like if the turtles mutated from the original, <laughs> to, from the mutant ninja turtles, double mutation, then. Man. I had to blow up the bounce house and then go put the fucking ninja turtle suit on, then come in and fucking do the stupid shit. He blew up the bounce house with his mouth, the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, hey, it's if, we, if, we do, if we reenact that we all get suits stevie could be april o'neill he nice. has the hat oh, oh shit oh wow <laughs> starting off hot here tonight there's uh gonna be a lot of uh cold war fire i think uh, here tonight you never know i might flip out get my shit on everybody and just leave some scorched earth behind too it uh, <laughs> seems like one of those holiday weeks where we just need to <laughs> rock the boat before we got to go put on our game face for the kids and grandma and whatever but else just you guys remember, are doing. love your enemy yeah <laughs> Uh, no, you're right. I mean. <clears throat> just for context on the on the ride home from florida i saw nothing but stupid stupid advice on on billboards yeah that was just dumb oh, yeah. well, so i would send it i would send it to these guys and of course you can guess who probably who went oh that's wonderful idea <laughs> and who went <laughs> what was the church of satan I, I didn't want to tweet on your timeline because i was afraid of another backlash from them oh they were they were pissed about uh because somebody came on and told kanye his symbol his picture on instagram was satanic and then they told him he should come on and he should go on the internet and look up flat earth. <laughs> so, it's, so they went out and were like, hey, idiot. <laughs> they just shit all over the person. So I thought it was funny. So Kanye is going to come out with some flat earth videos next. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's, right. if, he goes, if he goes, looks at the internet stuff they sent him. Yeah. I have to be the social media person for the church of Satan who doesn't follow anybody that they answer. It's, it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. 
uh garbage x edge uh appreciate obviously all the graphics you did for us this year man and the 200 bits you just cheer the face palms i'm not sure we did to, to face palm it but i'm sure there'll be more of that or what the world did maybe that symbolizes five five dollar hand slaps dude it could be five dollar face slaps that's true um it, you know one thing that uh, was a little bit more extreme than a five dollar face slap and got out of hand this week uh, is and we'll connect to 5G, but man, it was a pretty crazy story that we've shared around here. Uh, robots are on the attack. Skynet is aware, uh, and uh, it's it's crazy. With so it's kind of started with Amazon, where just their harmless scooting around the floor, you know, uh, front end loader, you know, robots with forks on them punctured bear spray and they had to evacuate the amazon for the rest of that day uh and and get it all out which i'm, I'm surprised they did that yeah uh, bear spray some powerful shit man <laughs> the, yeah no but i'm still surprised they did that yeah what does amazon care if a hundred mexicans get gassed <laughs> I, I, go to the go to the dean ambrose aisle and get your gas mask I, and go back <laughs> to work right yeah right, well, right in allentown they made them before they they started getting on top allentown is constantly hiring at amazon and they had, it was almost 103, 104 in the warehouse that they were making these people work in. People were being carted out, no air conditioning, mind you, just the big fans. They were being carted out on stretchers. Yeah. And then they had to keep locking the door because they didn't want people to run out the open doors. And it was well, they have and it was they have those ballpark doors with the, you can't get through them. They're rotating and they can just lock them real quick. And yeah. So Amazon was just like, I can't see them being like, oh, bear spray, everybody out. I'd be like, uh, you know, just stop breathing so much. <laughs> well, that's probably just the thing. If they didn't have enough gas masks, they probably would have. It's They didn't give a shit about the people. It's just that you can't be standing in the pocket where now everything's <laughs> contaminated. You know what I mean? They're like, God damn it. Section G18 is contaminated. Shut that down for now. Get the hazmat team in there. So that was the first, uh, the first possible coincidental robot attack. What if this is, you know, we look at those maybe not even obviously as intelligent as R2D2, but something harmless, right? They're just moving around our Amazon products and then it gets stepped up. And I don't know where the second one came from, but we saw this dude in China, in the emergency room with these massive 16 inch spikes through his yes. back coming out of his chest and his arm. He had six of them in him. You know, and so this is like a stepped up robot attack of the, the must have some launch capability and took out multiple people at that facility as well. F four or five died. And that guy Do you think got that, was out. that confirmed as being real and not like a Photoshop type clickbait? I didn't thing? see. I, I mean, it was clickbait, but I didn't see anything like obviously Snopes be like didn't happen. But yeah, so on, on the heels of that. And I thought. This guy is your next CZW champion right here. Look at the fucking beating he can take with no audience yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> Do you think they made him go back to work after they pulled all the spikes out of him? Dude. You go back to work now. Dude, that wasn't even like a, you know, a, a dart or anything. That was a straight up, let me put spikes in the tent in the ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> Iron spikes. So, uh, But then we got passed around today out of Japan. Uh they were working on defense robots specifically for killing uh, in, in war purposes. And they shut down three or they shut down three. And then the fourth one started uh, malfunctioning and going crazy. And one of the ones after they shut it down, they said uplink to a satellite and figured out how to rebuild itself and killed 29 people in this facility. No, no pictures of the robot uh, have been released or anything like that yet. But oh, well, yeah, that's right. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So um, you know, very Terminator, Skynet. What's happening? Coincidental, hey, possibly, hey, hey. possibly <laughs> fake stories mixed in with real ones with coincidence. And as we get closer and closer to AI and warnings from Elon Musk and others, uh, you know, saying this shit's getting way out of hand. And then this Japan story and the things we've seen with DARPA with these dog robots that can open the doors now, <laughs> that they can jump up steps and stand upright, like the advancements insane just in the last decade. Combine Plus that with cyber cat t-shirts that are selling off the hook over pro wrestling tees. Yeah, it's crazy. Robot right now. cats. <laughs> so I'm going to get out of the way and we'll go around the horn. Stevie, what are you thinking about all this, man? 
Think about how to kill Papa Don. <laughs> think about, think about it. Think, yeah, think about programming a robot. Nothing, nothing <clears throat> like about anything. Totally, you know, unrelated. Uh, first of all, these I can't wait for these robots to debut in New Japan and attack the fans, and everybody cheers when they it's kill them. Good, yeah. Like as they're dying, <laughs> like they're having, and as Hansen. they're dying, they're having the time of their life, and they're It'd be cheering. Like a death clock concert. Yeah. yeah. But it's really dangerous. If you have somebody like Elon Musk, who basically he's actually affecting his own bottom line when he's saying, hey, pay attention to this. This is dangerous and this is scary. Uh, and then you have Congress and you have the politicians who think Google makes the iPhone. Where that combination is, you know, you have him saying it and those types of people who are supposed to be the kind of like the fence bearers, the ones that are supposed to stop that kind of stuff from happening, much like the 5G we'll get to later, they're, they're completely techno you know, inefficient and just uneducated about that. So it's it's just, it's scary. It's going to forget to, it's it's closer to Terminator Judgment Day than people yeah. even realize. Yeah, well, I mean, I said I watched when we were off air Salvation and whatever might be the weakest of the Terminator series, but just the fact when 2018 came up, I was like, oh, shit. Like, the feeling, you know, like to be in the timeline of a movie that's supposed to be present and future. I don't know. It, it was kind of weird. But I definitely want to put a pin in that part. There was another clickbaity thing of the the Senate doesn't know how the Internet works. <laughs> and we'll come back to that during our 5G discussion. So please don't let me forget about that because I want to get your opinion on that as well. Um, GGP, what are you thinking, man, when it comes to uh, killer robots taking your bookings, bro? I'm just I'm ordering a couple right now and I'm sending them to Atlanta. I don't know why. But, <laughs> um, you know, or not for nothing, but you would figure that, hey, first time we tried this, these people, these robots, this AI made up its own language that we didn't even know about. Start talking to each other over there at uh, Microsoft, right? Yeah. Which is a big, obviously, red flag. Perfect. Then they try they tried it again. And this guy ends up with spikes in his back. Okay. Then they try to. What, I want to know what machine that was. Dude, that, that thing just looks lethal, right? Like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, at what point are they like, well, we need the big spike machine robot? Well, what does he do? You know well, we don't know. He just has spikes. The only thing I could, could be, think it, of, the only thing I could think of, I was like, where the fuck? Because those were just like, you know, even no, like. Man, those were, those those, were fucking. They were spikes, half bro. inch. They were half inch round, <laughs> thick titanium fucking spikes. So the only thing I could think of is like farming equipment for aerating the ground, like driving into the fucking ground. Because if there's a fucking war weapon that's shooting fucking spikes out like missiles dude that's just insane bro. hey dude it could be worse he could be working at a fucking dildo making factory he could be shot up with fucking metal dildos in his back well, you know I mean, what i mean that's how and, it he goes. Gets, and he gets killed by the drill dough yeah exactly <laughs> the drill dough that's the name of the episode folks drill dough. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow it sounds like a superman villain <laughs> hey, regardless of the fact um you know then they tried it again and this guy ends up all freaking uh, stuck with those spikes in his back and then when the thing in Japan 29 people died I mean enough's enough I mean wh wh where's the line you know what I mean like it's bad these fucking machines are going to take over and we're going to end up becoming slaves to them and it's not even a joke it's not even a bad movie anymore it's reality Chopping it, it, it's like if it's going bad in the test phase what's going to happen when the thing's real time you know what I mean like it's not going to change. So I don't understand why people are still trying to, you know, go go with this AI concept. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if CERN's behind it. But whatever. I digress. And, you know, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. We're at the top of the food chain. Why do we want to get knocked down a peg on the hierarchy? You know? Why? So we can Why? Because, you know, I mean, we've talked about it. Depopulation, uh, Georgia Guidestones, Agenda 21. You don't got to feed machines anything except battery, electricity, or oil. Yeah, you know but they're I mean? going to take over. Then then Agenda 21 becomes Agenda Order 66, and we get, we're we gone. And then there will only be machines that are left. It's the it's really the – the it's just the arrogance of, of, of most human beings that are in charge that think it's just like everything being censored, like our being – you know, uh, shadow banned or anything like that. Ha ha ha! Look at it. It's happened to you. I'm smarter. No, wait a second. <laughs> like if they turn around, mm -hmm. they don't realize that. Like, you know, I'm the one. I'm the one human. The robots are gonna like, and they're gonna they're gonna listen to me because I created them or whatever bullshit we see in every single movie. By the way, you know how these robots are gonna be forgiven for all their uh, trespasses to use Sal's 
favorite Catholic lines that he sees on the billboards going up they're, the East they're Coast. Gonna be, they're going to be baptized? No, well, even better. They're going to have an Apple logo put on them. Oh. Yeah, true. <laughs> Look at the these robots. Pay, I, remember iRobot. The, the iRobot, if they're brought to us in a capacity to make our lives more convenient and they're going to serve us, maybe it'll be like, yeah, I'll stay, like we all do. Yeah, I'll work for you, motherfucker, but one day I'm going to be, I'm going to wait for my opening and I'm going to take it. And that's what the robots essentially, I think, mm. are starting to do if they are self-aware at this point. Yeah, uh, I, I think that if this story in Japan is real, of it repairing itself after it was turned off, being able to up, uh, uplink and download from satellite, that's some whole next level. I mean, obviously somebody wrote that protocol. It's not like, well, it might be, it might be self-learning. But where are we? We we just don't know. Sal, I know you got to toe the line for CERN, but we saw a new Jordy Rose video this week where he's talking about even more satanic spirits that with computers right. and technology meeting the mythical. You know, uh, it's now, very what, strange. What about uh, every every chip is supposed to be? And I know this is it's sci-fi, but it's actually legit fact. Every AI is embedded with. Isaac Asimov's rule one, do not harm humans. Except Obviously, for spiky, except, except for, for this week. <laughs> except for the spiky death robot, which well. they haven't released the name. Drill so that's, that's, that's Drill Doe. The Drill Doe. Drill Doe, oh. the destroyer. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't know what his purpose was. Maybe he might have just been a prototype. We don't know. I went but real. They, dude, you don't even want to know, like, the joke I just <laughs> had in my head. Like, yes, I think I want to mass produce that. What the joke fucking, I had in my head? The drill dough. Oh, yeah. I think I need to mass produce that for you know gay porn and and chicks with. If well, only my somebody had a three D printer for it. If only yeah. somebody had a three D printer for my drill dough. That I was actually came up with the the shill dough, which is a big long one on the back of a shoe, so you can just put the shoe on and then heel kick yourself. And then it was I like, thought that was Alvarez and Meltzer with the new. It is. It's a ten star. Special Kingdom recap. I'm calling it. A t- I'm calling it the Meltzer Alvarez. Uh, uh, 10 stars. Just call it the Melter driver. The Melter driver. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what is, what do you think in sale when it comes to, uh, where we are like too much, too fast and just a lot of strangeness, you know, in a short amount of time, we seem to get these clickbait overthrows with the real story mixed in for sensationalism. Uh, right. but there are just too many happenings. If all three of those were real and those are the ones just making the news, what, 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 uh, what's not making the news, you know? Well, here's the thing. Um, like Jordy Rose and uh, all those guys, they've, they've come out and said, okay, like if you listen to any of their talks, any of their talks they've had, when he was talking about the D wave in the beginning, he was like, well, these take the power of this machine to go to other dimensions. He actually said it. Yeah. And nobody cares. No. So the way I'm looking at this, like you can't tell people, you can't say, hey, don't walk down that street. There's a big hole. Nobody's going to care because they're not going to listen. They're going, well, I got to get to my job, so I got to <laughs> go down this street with the big hole. I won't fall in the big hole. Though, and they'll fall in the big hole, and they won't care. So – He's come out and said everything horrible that everybody keeps, oh, my God, we don't know what he's doing. Yes, we do, because he tell us, because nobody listens. So, yes, all this is a horrible thing. There will be, there will be, I, I'm going to call it a learning curve, where we need to work with, <laughs> we need to work You're with calling collateral damage and, and killer robots yes, and human life in the a lab learning a learning curve. curve. We, hey, need you to gotta, fucking, we need to butch up. You need to break a few eggs we, to make an omelet. He's saying exactly. that. That's like I'm announced for next UFC pay per view. I'm gonna have a slight learning curve that night. <laughs> yeah. You need to. You know, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have. To, it's gonna have to. There's gonna be some accidents. Is that your kayfabosaurus? What are you doing? Papa Don, pa- why did Papa you fade me? <laughs> why did you fade me? <laughs> what do you think about that dinosaur popping on? Look at that. I think it was uh, made by a very handsome individual. Based on? Yeah. Based on what? Based on a picture. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so this is totally a non sequitur. I was too. reading I was reading a, a thing on the fucking on the one plane going up, and it's like you can get your picture on a moon that's a lamp 
okay? And you can yeah. get your picture of you and your wife or your fucking, your dead grandma or your mm-hmm. dog or whatever. And you can get it done you on the moon. You got to bring your dead grandma to get a picture. <laughs> no, I can do, I can do <laughs> that for you. I can do that for <laughs> you, Sal. Wait, wait, wait. But then they said exact duplicate of satellite images provided by NASA. Oh, wow. So that includes the dark side of the moon. That satellite, the, the satellite backside, images huh? provided by NASA. Exact replica. And there was a little TM by NASA. There was a whole thing like, this is the legit moon. Yeah. And, and they, they reproduced this for you. And so even when you turn it around, you could see all of it. So it made me it made me go, I want to get that just to go look at the backside of this fucking see moon. See what it is, right? And see what's going on. Because it's gonna be made up, dude. You can't tell if it's real because you've never seen it to why, compare it to. That's why I thought it was ironic. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny. That's why I was bringing it up here for entertainment <laughs> purposes. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback on that and I not put a drill dill or a Meltzer driver or anything, but there is actually uh, my my friend Ben put up on Facebook the one who's always putting the flat flat Earth stuff. <clears throat> He put up a thing, and I looked up on pictures on the internet to follow up because I go, that can't be real. On the bottom the of most earth? globes and classrooms, it says, um, for display only, not to be used for educational purposes. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's like the weirdest sticker to put on the bottom of a globe. Is that nice. way that goes in our classroom. Way they, can, they can fucking legally write it off and be like, nope, we said so. It says on the bottom. Well, it's it's inaccurate. Because the shapes of the countries are, are misleading on the globe, just like on a map. They're not accurate to scale. Yeah, I don't know why that's uh, something we haven't corrected yet. Um, anything else in the news? The only other thing that was, I mean, there's plenty, but uh, was really sticking the Cl- out. Sorry? The Clintons, the Clintons are going to go down because of yeah. uh, commingling of funds in the, yeah. in the Clinton Foundation. Now their whistleblowers are coming out. So hopefully that's true and no one gets suicided and we get to see those people uh, put behind bars. Or and I don't know if you guys. Co- oh, oh or, sorry, guys. So or we do break a few eggs and somebody gets suicided. However, now we're watching them close, even closer than before, and that's what takes them down. So, um, well, Wiener's uh, laptop. He produced the porn. They they found kitty porn that he. Oh actually yeah, produced. I read that. It wasn't just like oh he had Whoa. a couple pictures. He was making child porn according to. Fuck him. Yeah, according to his laptop. See now, yeah, here. him, him, his wife, and and supposedly uh, Hillary well, again, but all had access to to the laptop. Right. Well, that's the thing. They all had access and and emails that related to files that With contained porn. child porn that he made. Not just like oh, somebody sent him a picture of a kid, a naked mm-hmm. kid, or somebody sent him a picture of this. He was making shit. He was actually filming it or producing it, and they had they had access to the files that those were in now don't i'm i'm not the guy to go to bat for wiener here but uh yeah. you know the, like let's talk love it though. yeah i'm gonna go hard for wiener um the the fact only andy dicks wiener that's it uh the fact that he's in there now they've had the laptop for this long i think that this and this is just hypothetical are they putting this out now about Wiener producing child porn as a way to put the heat directly back on, on him yep. because he was about to flip because he can't do the fucking time and and he was going to do some other shit. So they're just going to – that is this new part manufactured to make people think that Wiener's even – I would love it – not like I would love that to be child porn, but I, I would like <laughs> it to be the extreme part of like, yeah, he was in on it. Yeah, it is tied to him. Yeah, Pizzagate, Pedal Gates, 100%. Yep. Go fuck yourselves, everybody, right? Because we've been we've been down this road enough with other things that we, we understand the logistics, the diary, the psychology, the cover-up, the disinformation. This feels like it could be – a swerve into disinformation here where whoever Clinton operatives still have on the inside are doubling it down to fucking really drive it on him. Cause he didn't hold up some end of the bargain. Yeah. yeah. The timing, uh, yeah. the timing is brutal. The timing is just, it's too far, too much has passed for us to believe anything at this point. I'm sorry, Sal, just, no, no. it's too much with the, the, you know, the investigation, I'm using the air quotes, it's just it, everything seems to be coming from a place of let's release this on no matter whose side it is. Mm-hmm. Let's wait till this particular point. That'll be the time we go public with this. Or maybe we just sporadically or, you know, the, the story I sent about, you know, H.W. Bush was supposedly, you know, um, 
executed by lethal to injection mm -hmm. on November 30th. Why why do they think people don't don't want to know this stuff or can't know it? You know, all across the board. Mm. Because they are it's still the rulers ruling on the ruling class. They don't want to open that up to the plebs. You know what I mean? Like they're going to tell the one story for nationalism, patriotism, run that shit. But when it comes to the game of Thrones of Bush family on top, and now it's this family coming in to take over and we got to kill the prince, the whatever, all the way down the line in the monarchy. It's the, it's that same shit, but what they present to the mainstream is just, uh, in the spin of it all. Um, I'm really starting to believe yeah. that the McCain and now the Bush thing, it seems way more likely that it went down like that, that they preserved their legacy, preserved their legacies. These stories just seem so like, you know, but I want, of, I'm with you. I want those tribunals, go. even if it hurts America worse than peeling a bandaid off. I would rather have McCain, who's a war hero, being brought up on charges saying you shipped weapons to ISIS via the CIA Clinton Foundation, and now you're being found as a traitor because you're trying to lead a, a soft coup <laughs> under America, which we've been doing for years, and, and then lied about it. You testified and lied about it. That's what I'd rather have them for. I want to see all that, too. Same with Bush. You could go, from like we talked about, from JFK to the 80s till 9-11 to the, the last wars. So See, here's the thing. I know this is apples to apples and oranges and everything else, but they've taken everything else that was good from our childhoods you know what I mean? Like little stuff. And they've turned it around that we're all scumbags for liking for mm. some reason or another. We can't like Rudolph because it's about bullies. We Bullshit. can't like this. You know what I mean? But like they've little stuff, little tiny things that they've turned around. Okay, you can't do this because this is uh, you're, that makes you a gen cis uh, male. Or uh, if you do this, then you're sexist or a rapist or a rape culture or, you know, all this sort of shit. To me... But then they'll turn around and really want to protect a John McCain because he was a war hero. If they found out John Wayne was gay or John Wayne did something horrible, used to fuck his horse, they would throw that out there immediately just to fucking get it out there. Especially if it, could, if it, would, hurt, if it would hurt the right or the left, whoever. They would try to get that out immediately. So to me, all of these... They, they want to destroy some things like the things that you we, we we looked at growing up and being exposed to when we were younger they've destroyed everything because mm -hmm. they want to rewrite history they've literally destroyed it all they and want now, to rewrite history but now this is what oh john mccain's a great hero george bush god, god bless that man fuck all these guys man like just do it all yeah. Like, I don't know. I just, I, I, I agree really too, feel. but that's, that's cause they, they're they They still think the Nancy Browns will never be able to handle it when the reality is that's what we need is <laughs> you want to talk about accountability in government. That's the ultimate accountability, right? Being tried as a traitor when you were the president and, and a war hero, like did that really go down? How are we supposed to know? But other moves that have happened that relate to that, that they're turning Guantanamo Bay into a, a, a tennis prison. Right. So are there other dudes who are about to really feel it like from Jeremy Epstein to Bill Clinton? Like GGB talked about, we saw whistleblowers saying that they even tried to warn Bill Clinton, people in his foundation who were washing his money. Keep your personal shit away from the Clinton Foundation. It's going to fuck you. And that's how they're going to get busted. Man. They, they can't. Hey, get ben, me. What was your response? They haven't. Get, they don't fast as fast can be. They'll never catch me. I'll be down in Haiti sucking pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? One, <laughs> uh, so, but uh, but they're saying multiple counts here, and that's just some straight up Al Capone shit. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to know where the bodies are buried anymore, motherfucker. We know that you did all this, but you fucked up your books trying to be a ace criminal, and you got way too comfortable in your power stroke. And guess what? We got proof, numbers, duplicate books, testimony. You're fu you're gonna be fucked, man. And and at that time, will he get a nice little back porch, fucking cyanide pill like John McCain got, and uh, looking off into the sunset? You know, he'll sell out his wife first, yeah. hopefully. Well, listen, there's oh, another angle with that too. Remember, right before the election, how bad he looked that we thought she was gonna go with the widow angle yep. yeah. to win the election. 
dude, I you we all say there's no way she can run again, but if if he dies or something happens or even a tragic death like an assassin assassination or something, plane like crash, like by 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 especially by no by an assassination by a right wing nut, a Trump guy, a guy with yeah. a red hat. Yeah, yeah, that's that'll that'll put her right back in the in the fucking fold right there. Very, oh, her team will try no. and move on it, but I think the in the in the face of the world, people will be like, "Fuck it, I wish it was her too." Too bad she wasn't standing close to Got him. Got the wrong one. Yeah, the too bad she <laughs> yeah. wasn't standing right by him. Fuck it. Yeah, the, the I, Yoko Ono, John Lennon, all over again. Yeah, I'd laugh. I'd laugh if he someone tried to assassinate him. He uses that as a shield. Yeah. <laughs> His true shit comes out. He's, no, not yeah. me. <laughs> But Two what things. I was going to say, oh, go, okay, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I was mine mine the was quick. Um, it was just that I was wrong because I I had assumed that when they had said that Wiener, his shit was going to come out and be exposed, what was on the laptop they found out and had more proof, I thought he was going to get suicided in jail. Or yeah. you know, I thought that was going to be it because I'm like, well, he's got to go because Remember if when, they're finding out what's on there. Remember when we were saying how quiet it was, and then that report came out that the shit was yep. so hardcore that even the most veteran. New York detectives were like fucking awestruck, Vomiting. you know, and like. Well, we have some NYPD cops that listen to to the show. So if you guys have any, any knowledge or any information about the laptop, what's on yeah. it, if you know people who've seen it, just email us. You could we'll keep you confidential. We won't say your name. Yeah, Ben obviously. never reads anybody's names. No, <laughs> just I'll just say, <laughs> I'll just say your phone number, where your location is, data tracking, uh, wherever you work. But, number. but right now he's not doesn't have a bad point to hit up conspiracyhorseman at gmail dot com. If you are interested in being an anonymous whistleblower, that's up to you. I mean, you can always get a fade mail. But hey, uh, we got the we got the guy from Wisconsin exactly. with the chip thing. That was crazy. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, awesome. you know the the dominoes are already in motion, and maybe uh, or I, I would rather say that Jenga blocks. Are you is your block uh, going to be the one Speaking that tumbles about it, Jenga you know? blocks? What's up with the EU guy fucking doing the HRC dance, huh? I didn't see him do it. The, the president of the uh, EU, he was like he couldn't stand on his own. He had to be oh. held up. Oh, he was drunk as fuck. Oh, That's yeah. why. You man. think he was I, drunk? That's because it, oh, yeah. it was it was a Tuesday. That's why. Yeah, I've been there, man. That's he was drunk. <laughs> 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 so he, he actually uh, he fought that guy with the spikes through him in CZW uh, London <laughs> show, and it was just they had thumbtacks in the back of his sport <laughs> coat. He was just there <laughs> carrying him off. <laughs> what about that Zupula film um, that someone tweeted to us with uh, uh, frame it shows that what frame three ten where the driver turns yeah, around yeah, as yeah, the where gun. the driver turns around and shoots him yeah you I think, I mean I never seen that I mean that I know when it's not well, Mandela effect or whatever but I've seen no, that I've seen I, that I saw that a lot. version before the the Jackie O one the, that's cheap dude that thing that thing has been Mandela affected more than anything that I've seen the car the, alone the car the seats. The her with the thing that looked in the one thing, and then like the first version that I saw when we were looking at Mandela effect was the driver turning turning around like that, yeah. and and like looking like he's pointing a finger at him. It was finger gun. that is just so strange. The seats, the, how the seats don't match up to what's in the museum either is is crazy to this day. Mm -hmm. Very very odd and, and but, ever changing. But, but, and isn't that something where? That's the classic question. I mean, if you had a time machine, what would you do? Go back to mid-South 79, or would you go back and help JFK? So how many people, maybe that has changed who was on the lawn, and there it is, butterfly effect, and all these things have become different, man. Yeah. So send that to me again through Messenger, because I didn't see that at frame 310. Yeah. I do uh, remember that version. of Because we, when we started doing Mandela Effect, that was that was one of the first ones we talked about, yeah. and it had already changed the second version where it looked like Jackie, because that was a big thing all over YouTube for a while. You probably won't find it now; it's been scrubbed. Yeah. But the fact that it looked like she reached down, came up, and the and the 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 gunshot went up. Fucking nuts, CERN, right? Pop it on. Absolutely. Every time they do a. Uh, oh, by the way, I was I was uh, speaking about CERN. I, I made a nice little connection today. I was well, I was listening uh, to a YouTube video describing 
a comic book storyline from the 80s called Crisis on Infinite Earths, right? Mm -hmm. Now, basically, what happens in this storyline is that all the multiverses in the DC universe come together, they get destroyed, and it becomes one solid universe at the end of the story, right? But the thing that hit me the most was the reason why uh, I correlated this to CERN and what's going on and what we talk about today is, number one, there was a guy, his name I think was Kranos or Crano or something like that. He was part of the Guardians of the of the Universe. Those are the little blue guys with the white hair that made the Green Lantern Corps. He wanted to see the creation of the universe, which was forbidden. And he went back and did it anyway. And what happened was that caused a multiverse to happen. Now, this is actually in the comic book. Then, later on, what happens is there is a big... A uh, dark matter wave that hits the universe and kills all the multiverses, and that's how they consolidate to one universe mm. at the end of the book. The thing that blew my mind is, is that's exactly what we're talking about now. The multiverses, CERN trying to do the re see the Big Bang theory. This dark wave matter that, that this dark matter wave that's coming across the universe as we speak. All that stuff is happening real time now. But in 1985, 86. Mm. Wolfman and Perez did Crisis on Infinity Earth, and they did it as a storyline in the comic books. Well, I got to put over Sal here. I mean, he's referenced it a couple times where he says that he feels uh, artist and blood sugar sex magic occultist are tapped into something uh, long beforehand, whether it's some type of ESP foresight or the ability to tap into a connection across multiverse so you can see that story and bring it into your, your story because it may be your future or it could be us living in a future time in that slot and we're just catching up to it i mean there's a lot obviously back to the future premise as well um but uh that just blew my mind i don't know blew I, my what, mind. it's interesting the way you tell it and uh, the happenings that are actually going on uh so and uh, i GGP, think just on comic tip do you ever read grant morrison what book i know who he is i've read a couple of his books but i don't remember okay like his whole deal is he's very he's very uh chaos magic shit like oh yeah, that. yeah 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 and that's you know uh multiversity and all those other those are all huge points you know that are constantly in shift and constantly moving through through our dimension their dimension our dimension their dimension like everything intertwines at some point and it's you know whatever the reason whether it's a cosmic thing whether it's man-made it's you well okay when i let me just let me just come out with it when I, when I say it's man-made, we all talk about CERN, and you know, you guys joke about CERN. Um, Not a joke. When you when you guys make jokes about CERN, like Stevie, you know, the I don't think they created it. They were granted a, a look into it. They, you know, they they're not smart enough. Man is not smart. No, there's enough no way. This, there's no way that, that oh, a so they five got administrative access control over. Yes, do they, they? They got yes. so they got some blueprint prints in layout. There's no way anybody exactly thought Nobody's... to like. Even, they they did. I mean, there's plenty of hadron colliders of different size. Nothing the size and scope of CERN of five stories. That start small, work your way up to the big one, so you can make the jump into another multiverse and like that's said, coming they, from they that's coming from outside it, the world they were granted access and they got to build off of somebody or something mm -hmm. else's reality mm -hmm. that's all like that's you know that's why like when you guys are all worried oh someone's going to destroy the planet no i don't think they will i really don't because they're not given that they're not given that technology that that power that's all is I'm that, saying. is that is that what it says in their handbook uh, i'm just saying Okay, just check. Seems like Jordy Rose is getting off on it. I wouldn't trust him. So I'm sorry, dude, but if you're if you're a scientist or if you're a tech guru guy like Jordy Rose from Canada, mm -hmm. and you come out and you're gonna lecture in front of all these great minds and all mm -hmm. these philosophers and scientists and all these educated individuals who are supposed to have some kind of effect in our society today, and you come out and you start talking about going into interdimensions and the stuff that you build is an obelisk or some kind of statue to an alien god mm -hmm. and that we're stealing stuff from other dimensions and bringing it here right. and that if we open up the door to the other dimensions we're going to get Lovecraft uh, demons coming through and no one bats a fucking eye there I mean go. there's Here's something the wrong with that no no Just no, like the no there's not no that's the thing there's eye. not anything wrong think about how freeing that is you could okay if I were to come out and in front of hundreds of, of of and then plus the internet thousands of people 
millions of views and just come out and say flat out, look, if I came out and said, okay, so here's the deal. I've made contact with greater beings and we worked on this. It's a computer I just made. It's this big. It holds the power of all the universes that we can, I can jump back and forth through time and this and this and this. And here's my equation to do so. I can do it. They don't look at me and go, oh, of course you can, sure. And I just told you exactly what I, like I said earlier, when you have the ability to come out and freely say anything you want because you have, hey, I figured out how to harness the power of a demon and power my computer through it. And everybody goes, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, sure. I told you what I was going to do. I know, yeah, I, I don't disbelieve that yeah, the if, way on, he's talking not, about it. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. But the part, the part that we're, we're, we're the part that we're, we're disconnecting at is that you're seeing the reaction of people going, "Oh yeah, right." Oh. Well, no, he, no one went, "Oh yeah, right." Where, no, they just sat there blank, f- and they and nobody, everybody no sold him. No, he told them, the, he told them flat out what he had. They all, I don't know about no selling, but I mean, just like the Gothic Tunnel, bro, all that crazy nonsense, and no one batted an eye. It was right. just a regular Tuesday to all the freaking European you, you leaders, like, because, oh yeah, we did that last week when we threw the kid down the well. Oh, we did this with, with Baphomet when we had that sex orgy down in the tunnels, you know, where the Hellfire Club used to be, or whatever. Right. So let me break, let me break this down to you, like just flat out, you know, tax, like brass tax on this. If people are part of a cult or a club. Uh, whether they call it satanic, whether they call it mason, whether they call it Christians, it doesn't matter. Whatever cult you're involved in and you want to throw kids down a well or drink wine, eat thing, you're all part of a group. That's what humans want to do. They want to be part of something. Yeah, we're tribal. I get it. Right, exactly. So they're going to do it. Whether shit works or not, and, and Stevie, I'm not slagging on you. You go to church, and if you don't get your prayer answered that Sunday, you don't like, fuck you, God, you don't help me. You still have faith that someday that prayer might get answered, Okay. So do you think it's any different for these fuckers who throw kids down a fucking well and they don't get their million dollars the next week? They're like, huh, guess I'll try next week. They still have faith. If you're that far in that you're killing kids for your faith or doing whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm picking on the kid killers, but if, if that's your faith, you're going to keep it up. So these guys can turn around and watch the Gothic Tunnel and go, oh, we just did that. We all dressed in our goat skins and we danced around a fire and we fucked each other's mouths and we wore our funny hats, you know. Yeah, pal. So, yeah. Tune in. We're shaking yeah. things up next oh, week on Raw. Yeah. Goat pals. We're sucking away. dicks in the and ring. We're wearing saying. goat masks. They, they yeah. do it. They'll keep doing it Stand whether back. they get results Stand or not. Stand back. Because they're part of the I've inside group. I've got my group. goat mask on. Stand they back. They like that cool parking spot closer to the building. Yeah. They like having to go in and not pay for their fucking chips and soda on break. <laughs> That's what they don't, they don't want to give that up. So why would they? They were invited. They were part of a group now. It's part of society. They're yes. part of a cooler tribe. They're okay, not going to fucking shake that I see where you're going boat. with this, but that's not the point. The point is that if, is if, point. Steve, if Stevie comes out and does a TED Talk and says that I have proof the earth is flat, right? You know that. He'll, get bickered, he'll get bickered at. Right. Right? He'll He's get not a scientist. Like, oh, you're nuts. doesn't matter. It doesn't Jody matter. Rose just, no, but no. No, it's not. Or better yet, if Stevie comes out and says, you know what? I found a way. I have a new SRF fitness program that he does. you could he take one. one pill and in a matter of five minutes, you'll be ripped and in shape and no fat will be on you. I'm living proof. Sal, what's, right? the, what's the name of that pill, Sal? <laughs> <laughs> he won't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so case in point, people will look at Stevie and not agree with him. They'll be like, ah, yeah, you're fucking mind your con, man. Right. Why? He's a fitness guru. Look at him. He's fucking 736 years old. He looks Probably. great. But now okay, prove so how are they going to prove? How are they going to prove uh, eight uh, Lovecraft beings coming from other universes and then actually going in, in, into the dimensional universe? No one said prove it to this guy. Do how can think, he? Prove no, 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 no. They, nobody in public said prove it. Do you think no he didn't show cares. people? Let me show. What are they going to show? They're going to what? They're going to open up a portal and grab it. I have a D-wave computer that can that can access six dimensions. Yeah, let's show me. Let me see it. Here, let me just put this in there, just as a little piece in the puzzle. <clears throat> it's a great conversation, so I'm I'm more than happy to let you guys have the floor. But <clears throat> what was the reason why they said they wanted to go into these other dimensions? Energy, resources, to, resources. Right. And what's the resource we've been talking about recently? Children. <laughs> no, well, uh, <laughs> element one fifteen, right? 
Well, yes. element 115. What if, what, if, what if they only had to trace them out from some ships that crashed or what have you that Lazar was working with, and there's no way to really synthesize it here on our planet, and they want more of it? They, they no, want, you're right. They want it all to start Space Force. They want it all and open in this dimension where there might be more. It's just something kind of I was thinking about earlier this week of everything that we hear, and that just came together in a little Venn diagram in my head. Yeah, you know? but the point I'm trying to make is this little, this little guy comes out. The guy looks like freaking uh, Ari Gold from freaking Entourage, <laughs> right? He comes out, and he just drops his bombshell, and no one batters an eyelash. Mm -hmm. No one says boo. Well, he's, he's, in a con he's in a controlled room of people that – are all press pass to who are who yeah, are going to okay, put him so over. So battered eyelashes it's, are way more. It's like a it's like a eyelashes. yeah, it's like a Bullet Club uh, New yeah. Japan press conference in there. No listen, one's going to touch. Look, shit. So listen, guys, don't 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 make analogies related to wrestling because okay. Stevie gets upset. Okay, <laughs> so that's number one. Number two, K, even even those three hundred thousand people which multiverse i just want to know which earth is the andre and which is the hogan in this multiverse that you're talking i have no about. idea <laughs> okay I i'm sure you'll anybody. tell us when you figure it out <laughs> okay uh, so what i'm saying is this guy comes out he does his fucking deal he says his promo whoever how many people are in the room five people hundred people thousand people doesn't matter no one says anything everyone takes it for face value everyone gives him a standing applause whatever the case may be everyone watching the video afterwards this is not mainstream media news this guy's saying that he's going to bring demons from other dimensions, open up interdimensional portals and steal resources from other dimensions. And you don't see this shit anywhere. We have to see it. You know, people like you and, uh, you know, all of us here and jo uh, Jacob Israel and, uh, you know, uh, you know, Richie from Boston, all the all the free thinkers and all the quote unquote conspiracy theorists who actually are awake and actually listen to what's going on. Our, our inner tribe of people, we're the only ones who know about it and talk about it. But mainstream media doesn't. No one says fucking anything. I mean, How really? Come nobody talked about the Vegas shooters, all their ulterior motives, except Richie from Boston, guys like us. Uh, you know, same reason, dude. Disco. That, that has nothing to do with another planet, and that fucking, they still won't touch it. Mm -hmm. There's a difference, dude. There's a difference. No, because, there's not. Yeah, there is. There is, because people get shot every day on this fucking planet to the point where we're all desensitized. Not by some cunt in a fucking hotel with, with machine guns. If if it's, if he actually did shoot him, or it could have been anybody else. But, right, case but of, again... But that, that's not even no. that's not even outer earthly, and they won't cover it on the news. But you're, but you're comparing apples and oranges here. You're comparing something that that uh, one human killing another, which has been going on through the fucking beginning of time, has been documented over over and over again in movies and literature, whatever the case may be. So people know about it. It's just a fucked up situation. And then you have other people saying that hey, we're really going into other dimensions and stealing resources, and we're going to open up a veil and we're going to let demons in here and these guys look like the demons from the HP Lovecraft and they're not evil it's just they're going to kill us like we kill ants like we don't matter to them right. and no one says whoa put the brakes on he's still getting government funding he's it just it blows right. my mind it just it's ridiculous because just like just like the AI this is just like the AI to tie everything back just yeah. like the AI 29 people just died in Japan right. and still processing AI Guy gets shot up with these big ass spikes in his back, right. still with AI. You think with they're testing... going to stop those programs? They should, but they're not. They I should, not. but they will not. And, and, and you answered my... your own question. Well, I think the bigger questions, and... the bigger questions are, who are the people behind that? Why are they pushing it so hard? And what is their end game, end goal, main objective okay. once they perfect Quick this? Quick question: Do we know? Who the company was that makes whose robot went nuts and killed these people? Was that, I don't, in Japan, the, uh, either the spikes or or the Japan one. Stevie, uh, uh, well, I, well, that, I, that, I didn't want to bring Stevie. that up, but it, I thought it was maybe it was Stevie's. If it, it was, was a Stevie China. brand company, it might have been Stevie, Stevie brand were... company. <laughs> no, there was no welts uh, found on the gentleman, so there was no bands <laughs> that got snapped and decapitated. Him. <laughs> I wonder if the wonder if when the uh, robot was killing all the people in the warehouse in China, if all the other ones around were chanting, "This is awesome." <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. It was, Did anybody it was, else imagine Wally just fucking cutting people's heads off? Yeah. It was Cybu Dying Systems. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting thing really? talking about oh. talking about. Um, we always have to bring up Saudi Arabia. I was <clears throat> I was watching Jacob Israel's uh, video. <clears throat> Pop it on, reminded me when he was talking about this about emojis which is really a crazy video talking yet. about emojis that. and 
how they fit in the certain um, side. There's a there's a um, an ancient word for symbols. I forget the name. Symbolics or something like that. And the emojis fit right in with those 72 symbols. Mm -hmm. But the first movie that was uh, allowed to be played in Saudi Arabia in 35 years was the emoji movie, Oof. which is right in line with the 72 symbols and the thing. They, they, he felt, thought it was very profound. It's a crazy theory, but when he was putting the emojis up to these symbols, they really did uh, line up. And we, we talk all about symbolism. Why aren't emojis kind of like in that talk as well? Absolutely. I mean, it, it could be, <laughs> think, uh, you know, 2000 years from now, if they find a way to download files and texts of teenage girls to everybody else, they might look at them like hieroglyphs, like we are. I wonder what the fuck they meant by this swirling shit at this point. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> is, of course, oh, this is yeah, classic. Yeah. 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 I never found this diaper 2000 years old. I gotcha. So, so, oh, it's like a, that's an Asian fellow. We'll call him E Moji. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they just they just found a new uh, tomb in in Egypt that's forty four hundred years old. Yeah, untouched, untouched unscathed, yeah. everything. Yeah, there's so much, man. There's so much under that sand that they they either know about and aren't touching yet, or you know the. Let the, me let me ask you guys a question. It. A fantasy question. They they break open this tomb. Mm -hmm. A fucking shoot mummy jumps up and murders three of the guys in there. Okay, are they going to stop digging up the tomb? <laughs> they should. Well, answer the question like an adult for real. No, the dudes. Don't say they, don't say they should. The dudes who the dudes who have the there. money are just going to go get more Mexican dudes and send them down the hole with the bear spray. <laughs> Mexican guys are Mexicans. Egypt. <laughs> No, I'm saying it, it, I was. Everything. I was tired. They'll do. They'll oh, do the mummy. Line, they'll do the mummy clearing jobs that Egyptians won't do. Is what Mexicans take do. a spike. Yeah, oh. <laughs> but the, they'll feed for the, the spike. Do, feed for the mummy. Yeah, no. <laughs> exactly. The, the Mexicans will get over back in the lab and be like, oh, "I'll take this." But that's what I'm robot saying. On. Would we stop? No, but my point was, it's not about like the dudes who just got whacked out are just, you know, feeder for whatever this is. Like you're just going to get more feeder for these things to, to, to go at. You're not going to put your money player, your backers in there. The booker's not going to get in there, you know, so they're not going to stop. Their agenda is not going to stop. But that's exactly, that's, exact, that's my point. Yeah. So something ridiculous were to happen. Like a mummy sits up and fucking just curses people. The three guys that are in there. For, no. Yeah. <laughs> the three idiots who show up and they have their fucking Dr. Jones hats on and they all get whacked. They Ak all fucking Alima. disintegrate. Aku, Aku Mashante, you're done. Right. Right. They all disintegrate. And are they going to stop at that point? And like the mummy doesn't come out. He stays in the fucking tomb. Are they going to not go back in there now? No, they're going to send soldiers Oof. in to blow the fuck out of everything up in there. I don't know if he's... Because I don't work on a magical creature. Well, you don't know. Maybe they have special bullets. <laughs> hey, or hey, I wanna... they'll send the robot in there. You know, so like... I was gonna, that's what I was about to say. What? It, because technology they have is all... I mean, they have technology that we're just approaching in this century. And some stuff you don't know they might have. They might have ro robotic stuff. They had UFOs yeah. visiting. And they might have left technology within that pyramid as well. Could be. I mean, and you you get these stories all the times of dead guys rising from tombs. It's always ludicrous. It never happens. Robot so mummies, man. I knew it. Fucking I fucking knew it. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> I, I think we just developed a new script, the robot mummy yep. saga. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So I think uh, we still got time. Yeah, 730. We've covered a lot of you know, crazy stuff in the news this week. I'm not even going to waste time on... What's her name? Uh, Stormy Daniels getting her tits out in Playboy yeah. or any bullshit like that. That's not what we do around here. Um, but we wanted to talk 5G because we've I've been seeing a lot of commercials, even 15-second pop-ups, YouTube from Sprint and other telecoms saying, get ready for 5G. It's going to be awesome, everybody, and just getting it in their minds, 5G, 5G, 5G. And we always want – uh, bigger, better, faster, stronger in our technology, and you'll see people line up <laughs> on Black Friday outside the the down the uh, Best Buy outside, you know, to to get what to pay a thousand dollars for the same thing that they already had with no real upgrade. Now, 5G, which stands for fifth generation of uh, the network that we're all on here, not it doesn't stand for five gigahertz. Some people think it is, but it, it just five stands, Greeks, yeah, five Greeks. 
Um, but 5G is just the fifth generation of our telecom technology. However, it operates at a much higher frequency level, whereas 4G is kind of far 2,000 meters, a straight shot that we all tap into. Uh, these are going to be much shorter wavelengths at a much higher frequency because what they want to push is a connected world, the Internet of Things, all devices talking. We even saw a, a clickbait story about Alexa uh, this week in somebody's house uh, that their parrot or whatever was ordering a bunch of shit on Alexa, right? So this stuff is obviously first-generation technology, which is always filled with a bunch of bullshit bugs and the tracking softwares that they have in there. But now they want to put that same software into everything from every car to be daisy chained and networked together to signage on the streets. But uh, the problem is with 5G technology, it actually kind of sucks in the way it delivers because it needs smaller towers, but they need to be almost at every block. Uh, so while you're walking, you just start switching towers quickly, which means, as you know, eating up more battery life. So that's a drawback right there. But the megahertz and, and kilohertz of the radiation that's coming out of 5G is very harmful to all cellular structure. It's pretty much tantamount to, I, in one of the videos we said, uh, the microwaving yourself uh, for about 19 minutes a day. <laughs> over over that time that's how much radiation you'll be taking uh from this so uh pretty crazy oh. as as far as which way we're going and i'll talk about weaponization of it and the lies but this got pushed through with the fcc net neutrality we saw them just rip that right through there's no testing of this technology uh fcc keeps saying that it's completely safe yet they have no one on their team who's an oncologist, uh, you know, uh, someone who studies, yeah, they don't have any ologists over there. So th you're going to be taking your advice on, uh, how radiation affects cellular structures from somebody who has no PhD or knowledge or even experimental testing or even third party testing. They didn't even go out of their way to do that. So the fact of how they're trying to push it through further stooges off exactly how dangerous this could be as we go forward, who wants to set it off? Set it off, I suggest. Yeah, uh, well, Naked Genius just set it off with a thousand bits, so appreciate that. But Stevie, awesome. you Naked Genius, you take it away, brother. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty big deal. And if we want to back up, there's been no standard of wireless technology. This includes Bluetooth, home Wi-Fi, yep. Edge, 3G, 4G LTE, and now going into 5G. That has been tested to an extent, like it's been tested to burn you and do all the extreme things, but they've never tested anything lower than that as far as short-term, long-term effects. So for instance, we're we're blanketed in it right now anyway, and maybe that's what the FCC is thinking, like, well, you know, we've already broken the eggs, so might as well make the omelet, you know, and it, it's a lot of different things with this wireless radiation. We're entering into an era now where people were born into this like born into this mm -hmm. whole thing and won't we'll know. So we might be having more childhood cancer than ever before, childhood deaths. Once again, might go back to population control. It also might be a way, I, I never thought of the weaponization when you said it, it might, this might be the sort of kind of death ray type of thing or like Jesse Ventura conspiracy theory where he could hear the music inside his head. Yep. These wavelengths will penetrate people and there could be some sort of MK Ultra type shit where they're sending the messages they need sent. Now it sounds all crazy and everything, but these are all declassified documents. And if they the voice have of a, God, if they have, yeah, if they have different delivery methods, but on a, on a smaller scale, all this is is blanketing in us in a totally, a totally untested uh, technology, 5G especially. You are the test. Where even the, we are the test. That? We are the test. Yeah. So we're the product, just yeah. like Google. We're the product. Uh, and one last point, I, I sent that little city council meeting to you guys and that guy was speaking. Mm. Remember he said that the safety lab wouldn't even have the level of 5G within their safety lab. Yep. Yep. That, well, that's all you need to know right there. Here's my question. So I know they were saying they actually, I heard a few comparisons of 5G to airport radiation the same level of radiation given off by airport scanners and mm -hmm. stuff. Now, here's my other question. Have those airport scanners ever been tested? No. no. 
But you know what I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's how they they've already alleviated everybody's process by the first sentence. And, and, but no and more, how they it's say no that though? No more radiation than an X-ray at a, at a at an airport. And everybody goes, oh, thank goodness. Well, that's that's all right, maybe because radiation in a small dose of like that. However, right. other videos that we had sent in today, the guy's got the uh, RPM monitor out there across the road from a strip mall where there's a tower right next to it at three to six uh kilohertz it can it can affect uh human cellular yeah, structures man. this this shit across the street was t- clocking in 600 to 900 and this is right next to them all so it's not like they're those people are just walking through uh airport security how about the people who show up to work there every day and you're just pretty much sitting in a microwave field like if you could open your microwave and just sit in front of it all day while it's on uh, to be fair, I don't mind if those are people who go. <laughs> well, they, they have no I, idea because yeah, they're just addicted to the tech. Heart get fucking ass cancer by sitting on there all day. There's just something about spending a thousand dollars on phone and a hundred and twenty bucks a month, and that there's a safety in that where you're like, oh, well, they wouldn't fucking kill me with my phone and do that, right? Like the people who are so naive, who are just consumers, who work in these strip malls across the world, they might be listening to us right now. You're working a shitty job and you want to wake up and you don't know that that cell tower outside you is putting out an insane amount of radiation and frequency that is causing cancer in everyone from dogs in people's houses, 25-year-olds and to cool. 70-year-olds, man. Like That's legit going down. Sorry, Stevie. Go ahead, buddy. No, I was going to just add one more point before popping on ghosts. Uh, you know, if if people have ever watched those ghost hunting shows or anything like that, and they 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 go down into the basement or they go into an old house, and they see that there's a lot of electromagnetic interference, which cre- creates a fear cage. So that's how a lot of people. They, that's how it's debunked. They're seeing mm-hmm. things or hearing things. It creates stuff within your mind from that wavelength the wireless field the magnetic field maybe maybe it's not chemtrails i'm just speculating maybe it's not the chemtrails but these waves that are making people act fucking nuts and well, offended and going against each other and sure. altering all this behavior well they, they said i mean that emf sickness is now becoming a more regular thing that there's people who are have way more sensitivity to electromagnetic frequency that guy in ted talk man that was crazy well and then you think about things how are they bringing that to the mainstream the brother uh character on better call saul uh played by uh what's his name lenny from uh laverne and shirley Michael McKeon. Michael McKeon, thank you. You know, his whole character was based around that and how it drove him mental kind of uh, in a lot of ways. But uh, they say you're going to see a big uptick on this, and it's not at first it's going to be brushed off, ha-ha, no, 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 it's not that. And it really is the fact that you are – a electromagnetic frequency operator yourself, just as your human body is creating signals. You know what I mean? And then if you're getting hit with radiation and your body's 75% water, that's what microwaves do. They evaporate water out of so things. Let me, let me say, so you guys, so you go to a, you go to a T-Mobile, you go to a sprint, you go to a, st- go to a brand new store called 5G. Okay. And they say, look, we can give you this cell phone and oh, bring your old cell phone. We can put the 5G chip in it. Okay, so here's the thing. We'll give it to you for $79. It could have an effect on your brain glucose metabolism. People go, they oh, wouldn't. Right. They wouldn't say that. They just <laughs> say right. free upgrade. But, they wouldn't charge you. Saying, if, even if they were to tell people that, and they'd be like, look, man, this could fuck up your brain matter permeability. People would go, oh, okay, $79, sure. No. They have no idea what the fuck that means. They don't understand what that means well, and the fact sorry. that you are cooking yourself. I just wanted to stop you there because this yeah. is where I put a pin in it earlier. And I also want to say thanks to Armand for the 500 bits. Appreciate all your loyalty, man. You're a great listener. Um, but uh, what Stevie was talking about earlier, way earlier in the show, of these Senate hearings where they don't know fuck all, whether it's fa- how Facebook works, how algorithms work, how the basics of the internet work, how Google tracking works. And that becomes clickbait for generation X, Z and millennials. Ha <laughs> ha, these old fucks. But these old fucks are the one who are letting the FCC and these massive telecoms, which have all conglomerated into a mega, mega monopolies, uh, push this shit through and, put up these mini towers or these uh, square to lights, I believe they're called, square satellites, 
and they're putting out way higher amounts of, of radiation. 4G, as you see it in our Wi-Fi, if you look at your router, it probably says 2.4 gigahertz on it. 5G is going to operate from 5 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz, all right? And they say, no, nothing wrong with that. I mean, perfectly fine. To, you know, it's not going to hurt humans at all. And and we've done no testing, but, but trust us on this one. Then the military, I saw a clip, put out a weapon for crowd control. Exact same uh, 5G uh, radiation technology. And as 5G rolls out, we're only going to get... Uh, it should go up to like 20 times faster. We're only going to get like two or three times faster in the first couple of years. But they've got this for military where it goes off of one out of the, the radiator, hits a, a, a mirror, gets reflected onto a big solar panel like, and then shot downfield at the, literally at the speed of light. And they can direct it on somebody at 95 gigahertz. So only five hertz more, <laughs> gigahertz more. And it can make people run. It starts evaporating the uh, water in your skin at the top layers. So they're telling us one thing, this shit can't hurt you. Meanwhile, <laughs> the exact technology in not a much farther range is being weaponized for crowd control by the U.S. military. And they'll just they'll chalk that up as, well, let's be fair, um, uh, a magnifying glass can hurt you too if you use it the wrong way. <laughs> use it properly. Yeah. Use it properly and you'll be fine. Oh, by the way, did you see the article I sent you guys too? That a lot of workplaces are saying, "Well, we're going to forego the Wi-Fi networks we have and just use 5G." So oh, now tax lot, incentive, of, tax incentive, right yeah. there for them to do but, it. But but that that's actually, man. I mean, it's just one of those things. I have everything I can connected to Ethernet as far as PS4 stuff like that, but we still have Wi-Fi throughout the the apartment. But imagine working in an office building, a 30-floor office building where there's 5G repeaters on every floor going back and forth on each end of the yeah. cubicles. And you're just, no matter what, now you're getting bleed through from above, below, the stairway, the outside. Dude, that's not, I mean, that's going to be, I'd be very interested to see in the next 15, 20 years how many people that work at you know, Wall Street or at one of these big buildings in New York City or, or corporate America start dying from cancer yeah the first chance you know these guys get cancer they will be all about the, the lawsuits that'll get buried <clears throat> or else they'll just say we found the cure to cancer everybody so we can make more money off wi-fi let's keep going like so, one will have to outweigh well, the other at the end actually, on the fucking we, spreadsheet we talked about this last time we, we touched on 5g a while back and there were guys in uh california now who they were just putting out those those uh readers the meters Behind smart their houses, yeah, smart, smart meters. meters, yes. And people, people feel sick like, from oh. those, right? EMF they were like, sickness. Yeah, the, the plants were dying, their their pets were dying, and people were actually posting, "I have a way to wrap them, so you can't, so it won't affect our house." But then it was affecting. It said it was affecting the meters, so now they had, they were forced to take them off because it's not their property. So they had to take the, the protective wrap around the 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 wire wrap around that they had. They had to take them off of those meters. Could, could, before we, could we back up and for people that might not know, because I don't know exactly all the details either, but what exactly was the pitch for the smart meter? There was there, no pitch. There was pitch. They, they just, just did it. Did it. No, 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 I mean, what is it? That's what I mean. Like, why it does thing, it exist? Was it water energy? Well, yeah, it's it's conservation energy. that Because they'll be yeah. all tapped into the system as smart meters, they'll be able to regulate and, and things that are, you know, still done on the old style without without all of the smart sensors we're losing x amount whatever 1.2 billion dollars a year in gas and, and electric services so we got to do this so they ushered in and i i think i told you before my brother's company is the one that got that government contract and spearheaded all that in new york city he was down in harlem all that shit changing over like overseeing all those buildings get changed over Oh, and, and they make it sound like it's only in California and nowhere else. No, dude, that was yeah. that was all New York. Yeah. No, all New York too. <clears throat> so, well, at the time, your brother didn't have that gig. Like What's he that? didn't. It wasn't in place yet. Because when we first touched on it, it was only in California. Yeah. Because when we looked it up online, like there was like one or two articles about. Nah, he was doing. I, I just might not have stooged it off. I thought I had mentioned it before, but I I, I, I can't remember, man. But that's that's the kind of, you know, just a, a mass changeover. And you hear, oh, we're getting smart meters. It'll save us money. 
sure, I'm in, right? And the reality is, is when Trump says your microwave is listening to you or whatever, but your fucking smart meter's clocking you and listening to you, possibly. You know, everything everything can be reverse engineered that way. If they've got an in where it's hooked up into your system on a Wi-Fi, they're going to be able to tap into it, you know? A couple, couple things. Supposedly, I, I, I heard that the actual process of them putting the smart meters in was more it was uh more expensive for them to do this process than it was to just have hire people to go read meters so right there there's a red flag that doesn't sit well with me you know that's that's the first thing second thing is it's if, if everything in the house is connected to 5g your microwave your tv your internet your fucking coffee machine whatever the case may be right everything's connected and your whole house is all smartened up like the fucking wrestling fans all they got to do is control you by turning it off, and then you're fucked. You don't comply. None of your shit in your house works. Your shower won't work. Your your oven won't work. The gas, the electricity won't work. So you gotta have to you have to conform. Oh, it, you have to obey. It'll be it'll be ration. I mean, have you read 1984? He he gets up in the morning, and all of a sudden the TV turns on, and it's Tony Horton there telling him to do P90X, but the TV can fucking see you. So if you're not doing it. You lose, like we talked about in China, these fucking credit points. Your your social your credits. your social credits go down, and oh, you you want to take a shower? Well, you're only getting four minutes of hot water a day because you didn't do as well on your P90X. You could have had eight minutes, but you're a fucking slack ass, Ben Hamin. So you're you're only getting this much. So you know it's. It's right there on the cusp of being able to Look, control all that shit, man. Are you guys looking at Stevie Drool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can yeah. get yeah. on the program, you got yeah. a lot of shower time. Come yeah. on, do your bands, Dude, I take our last four minute shower, and I don't think that part of 1984 is so bad. You know, my shower is about three minutes long. I'm try, and, try and eight minutes long, man. You then he has the yourself. cats lick him clean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Odin. Yeah, Odin. Let's get the cat back in here. I'll wrap her in saran right. wrap again. Take it yeah. easy. All right. That, we'll talk about the cats. I was talking about <laughs> right, the other cat. We're talking about Kenny Omega's cats and all his fancy cats. He has a cyber cat. He has a built in shower. Her. Yeah, five Fuck star her. cats. Um, the <clears> other <throat> thing I wanted to say was that this thing with the 5G, remember we were talking back in the day when we touched on 5G? That uh, it could be a way to um, to further Agenda 21 because if mm -hmm. all these microwaves that these that's emitting from the 5G is gonna and the radiation is gonna make us sick and and, and fuck us up, then that's how they're gonna push in their RFID chip because the cure to protect you and block those chips from hitting your skin could be in the chip, and if everyone's gonna get chipped up, brilliant, yeah, boom. And I've also I've also seen like the Faraday cage technology being mixed into clothing, into jackets and things like that to protect you from EMF along those ways. And a lot of because when I worked at uh, fiber instrument sales, obviously fiber optics and this go hand in hand with the towers. Um, you know, there were guys who would have that as their work coat with that already built in. I think that's coming to everyday fashion once this shit hits, man. Like, does your coat have uh, EMF protection? It'll, like, it'll be a status thing to have it built in. North Face EMF. Yeah, well, just like the the wallets, the RFD proof RFID, wallets. RFID, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So they can't they can't steal out of there too. So, um, I was just trying to think, Stevie. It just got me hot seeing those. I don't know why I do those sacred cows, those sheep uh, herders in, in the Senate acting like they fucking even know what's going on, man. I feel like they put the most clueless snowbird Florida retirement bastards in a place to ask questions about technology that's going to really affect not just the day-to-day -day or apps and that kind of shit, but our, but our health, and there's no oversight for it whatsoever. whatsoever. And I don't well. think there's going to be in Trump's regime. Well, when you said before that all these people like, you know, Nancy Browns and everybody are laughing or Gen Y, Z and millennials are all laughing. That should be the moment of, fuck, I should be a senator or congressperson because this is where it's going. That's how I felt, fuck dude. I was like, are you, you heard fucking it right kidding here. me, dude? Stevie is running for Congress. Yeah. Donate to this Congress slash moon fund. We're going to run for the fourth fourth district on the moon. Uh, exactly. Light side of the moon. Guardia. I'm going to do yeah. a big heel turn and run against Glenn in Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, you want the Saudi Arabia. I'll just pull the Saudi Arabia. Yeah, you're the one I who... joked with my wife about that. And she goes, don't do that to Glenn. <laughs> 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 like, there's, there's a little part of her who's like, 
this fucker wants to win. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 she like, saw that look and she was like, no, no, he's, he's serious. Yeah. For, for a second, I was, she's like, she goes, you really think you could beat him? He's doing a good job. I said two words, Saudi Arabia. And she goes, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, that should be, that should be the uprising. And we're all looking at that, you know, the shoot him or hang him or, or, you know, give him lethal injection mm-hmm. or whatever. But it really should be, hey, old fuckers, your time's up. Get out. It's our time now. You know, oh, I'm over. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and, and get Get out because you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And that should be grounds right there that, like, you know, in Star Trek, you have to relieve yourself of command when you're emotionally compromised or you're not mentally capable to have command. And it should be that way. Right. In, in government. Sure. That is, a, that, is, that is truly just a huge sign that you're not capable of doing the job anymore. Right. Especially if you want to hold people's feet to the fire who are with their most simplistic of how society and technology work together, you're asking questions like, can you, can you get this to work for grandma? How do I get this on my phone? How do I get like, that's how they're coming off instead of you need, I don't know about Cory Booker, but somebody even younger than him to look in Zuckerberg's face and go, dude, what the fuck is up with the fact that I can talk about dog toys and then I have targeted advertising in my newsfeed for the next three days. What are you really doing with that? I, and I know we've gone over this a thousand times. Speaking of which, today I got uh, a sale for Stevie, the thing you used for your bands, the animation app. You know, the, uh, uh, oh, the Dude, whiteboard, Dude, yeah, Dude, yeah. Yeah, I got, just from us talking about it, I got like three emails from them today about. It's uh, crazy. Holy shit. Yeah. But, but those people so, like, are never going to even put two and two together. They're the people who go, oh, Look at that. I was just thinking about getting this for, for my grandson, and here it is. How convenient. Like yeah. How crazy th- yeah, is that? Yeah, th- they're not even asking the softball but, questions because they don't even realize what's going on around but them. Like, like, you know how you guys goof about how Vince is so out of touch, and he's what? he's still, you know, he's in the 80s. He's getting fucking uh, Kentucky movies when, you know, everybody else is getting 2018 movies. You know, yeah. like shit like that. But that's this is the same exact, these are the same people. Who, you know, I don't have time to know all this stuff. I'm busy doing government work. So they don't even bother. They don't care. They don't even read the bills. What are they really fucking doing? They they have, my friend works, or used to work for, uh, for Governor Christie. His job as a lawyer, the guy was a fucking lawyer, was to read everything and go sign this, don't sign this, sign this, don't sign this. That was his fucking job. So they don't even bother to read this no. shit. They're 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 briefed, and then they're told, "This looks good. This would help you. This won't help you. This will be better. We should look at this. Maybe reword this. Maybe go back and say this." And he has ultimate trust in them because those are his those are his peoples. Those are his peeps. Yeah, come on over and watch wrestlers vs. zombies with me, pal. Forget about that FCC and five G. Got to say once again the, yeah. the range of Shane Douglas in that movie and <laughs> and just the, the, you know the Oscar for wardrobe yeah. you know, as well. I don't know which which category wins out uh, wrestlers vs. What was the other movie with Devon? Uh, Noxious. Noxious. They can't Noxious. even say obnoxious. They, get, <laughs> no. they, they want to get sued for the words, so they just had to leave the OP out. <laughs> oh, that was and that was that was some movie, man. I, did you guys get to watch any of it? No, I haven't. No, yet. I got to. <sighs> you do. You do. You need to get. You need to get your wife. You guys need to get a little little keto popcorn. Sit down, <laughs> snuggle <corn>. up, <laughs> snuggle up, and watch watch that movie. <clears throat> you will thank me later. That's all I'm going to say. My wife will just walk by because I I had wrestlers of versus zombies probably on a marathon on my phone like before bed i would just watch the i would watch the diner scene where shane, to sleep. Where, where shane <laughs> i watched the diner scene where shane was like the most abusive boyfriend ever trying to put himself forward and he like i said the range i was just like i've never seen the side of the franchise shane douglas playing the franchise shane douglas in a movie before you'll 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 laugh you'll cry You'll fall asleep. You'll you'll, you'll uh, every range you'll of emotion. You'll wake up and go, "Fuck! I should have turned this off early." You'll do everything. You'll laugh. Me. You'll cry. You'll sleep. You'll check your text or in a conspiracy <laughs> podcast. You'll do it all, right? Pop it on. And I Absolutely. just want to say, multitasking. I just want to say that Stevie has tried sleep aids. He's tried CBD oil. 
The only thing that works for him is wrestlers versus it's zombies. Zombie. That's it. <laughs> I hope you want a great night's sleep. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna review it now and put it up on. <laughs> I just can't Do wait it. to start the angle in Shane's new wrestling promotion. That you, know, you buried my movie, you piece of shit. Now, <laughs> now we fight. <laughs> and now we get great promotion with health insurance oh, and benefits awesome. and everything. Yeah, I think uh, on 5G, man, we've 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 looked at it till we know that there is no testing, there is no uh, real body uh, behind it that's saying, yeah, this is going to be fine. It's just all up in the air, and until people start in mass really getting sick, I don't think there's going to be any movement. The biggest thing with this that we kind of covered a couple weeks ago. To me, especially after seeing that crowd-moving weapon, because they talked about it, 5 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz is where we will operate as 5G users. And um, at 95, it was the <laughs> weaponized version of it. So, that I mean, that's just a, such a small window. But to me, after I saw them show the technology of how they reflect, they do a double reflection of the beam after it's generated, it says it takes... 200,000 watts generator and generates that into a 100,000 watt beam. To me, if they can do it and it's going speed of light, it's straight out of out of uh, GI Joe Weather Dominator episode. They shoot the it. Dominator. They shoot it to the sky. It reflects again and builds even more. And then we the overlay of the map of what they want to do in California for the new transportation system and the wildfires did you see that being I, I did, identical I sent you a map didn't i yeah being yeah. identical in an overlay and then having none of the trees burn but you have cars and buildings incinerated into dust like if you've ever seen a house fire before you know chances are i, I mean and if it's a, a wildfire that's spreading it's it's going to burn the trees that are all around it these look like directed shots almost like somebody's just got a laser pointer and you're trying to kill ants on the sidewalk or a magnifying glass if you will and you're going in a perfect pattern that's laid out for you on a map and you're just eliminating buildings of property because who gives a fuck about the trees they might be on the property but now we can buy up this property or declare eminent domain and I think it's just a bigger version of this 5G weapon, exactly, and it's a directed energy weapon technology. GGP? You are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of hard to follow that since you had all the bullet points. Sorry. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty funny that steel, you know, cars that are made out of metal burn and disintegrate, but a tree that's made out of wood is still standing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny that certain houses in a certain row go down it's called a wildfire and then the other houses that's right next door isn't even touched i mean fire is not selective yeah i went to uh wyoming when i was 15 on a trip in a yellowstone family trip it's awesome man i mean the, the animals are crazy i mean there's no gunshots there so they're not scared of anything i mean elk and moose and wild donkeys on the side of the road it's nuts um but they like, had they had them? those massive wildfires there in the early 90s or late 80s, and you would see these huge trees, I mean, scorched and burned, and it looked like how they would be, you know, turned into, like char Detroit. into charcoal. Yeah, but like how it would be in a fire pit. We didn't see any of this in these California no. wildfires, but we see these buildings absolutely leveled. I would like to see footage and pictures because I believe wildfires have happened in California in the past before the direct energy weapon kind. Let's see some side by sides of what uh, forest fires from the '60s look like versus what's happened here, and I don't think you're going to get the same type of forensic evidence. And people, you know, people were like, "Well, cars were made of steel, and now they're made of plastic." Well, get yeah. the fuck out of here on some of the, the some of the things are I can still give metal, you. dummy. Right. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and the engine, last time I checked, is made out of metal too. So mostly right. still metal. So yeah, I, interesting. I, and like I said, a, 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 a cop friend of mine. Uh, from Washington sent me that overlay. Chief Wiggums? And, uh, like, it just... Kayfabe. Kayfabe. And, uh, yeah, it just... <laughs> Take it easy there, uh, well, well, well. You're it, uh... showing us coins next. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it just... He sent me the overlay, and I never th I, I never thought about it, And but it's the dead-on fucking... Like, it's not an exact, obviously, but it was... Pretty much mm. damn near close, man. I was like, 
Because obviously anybody could do it. You know, everybody can. There's no way that it could go up. Uh, like there's one part where it goes up and like to the side and stops and then kind of comes back up and draws, redraws again. Like the fire would know, oh, right here is where I'm stopping, dude, because, uh, you know, this is where uh, the D train would stop. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah, it's like the magic bullet. You know, right. Bing, 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 <laughs> yeah. bing, 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 bing. So to me, man, this this is all really tied in in the rollout of this technology, whether it's weaponized, whether it's to make your life a little more convenient so your refrigerator can talk to Walmart and you can show up and just pick your shit up or your smart car goes and gets it and brings it back to your house. I mean, all that Jetson shit does sound awesome, but at the- No, it don't. It does we end me. up being like, no, it doesn't, because we end up being like those fat fucks in, in a wheelchair Wally. and Wally. Or we get we, we have skin. more time to do Stevie Richards Fitness and podcast and become our greatest That's all we have to do, guys. greatest renaissance yeah, men. I can finally learn how to play guitar. Nancy, Nancy Brown is too lazy to turn on the fucking light switch, so That's she's gonna why get I a think Alexa. Hold well on, she's gonna get a, she's gonna get Alexa and go uh, turn on the light well, switch. Well, what if turn Nancy Brown? What if Nancy Brown can now send her car across town to go to Walmart? Or, or pick the kids up from fucking school while she's at the fucking gym and it comes back and picks her fat ass up. She looks a little hotter for her husband. Divorce rates go down because of 5G. Yeah. You know, like all this kind all right, of shit. How are you going a little too far? If you're, too, if you, if you're <laughs> fucking, if you're too lazy to turn it on, on and off the lights and freaking turn your TV on and do all this shit and go pick up groceries, you're not going to be at the gym. Well, it's about on time. It's That's about how much true. time you have in a day. No, it is true. It's if not have, true. It is very true. No, no. It's very true. If you, if, if you can go to... If you Armand, the... Armand from the from the from the room says, "Alexa, shave my head. <laughs> Your hair is unsettling him. <laughs> my head, my yes. hair. Yeah. Yeah, I, hair, I, I, hair GGP is starting to unnerve me. <laughs> I'll tell Armand he to go fuck himself. GG, <laughs> GG <G> Propecia. <laughs> I'm not going bald, dude. Relax, dude. Anyhow. He I got, just, I ran out of he got hot. He got I, I hot. hot because people think I shave my head because I'm going bald. I shave my head. He got I'm hot. <laughs> so you always shave the front of it right there? Is that always shaved? Shave the front of it right here. Even, yeah. even when it grows back, it's just, yeah. Uh, it's my I'm forehead, out. dude. But I'm, I'm saying, saying, hey, if I lost it, I'd shave it too. I'd start, yeah, well, you know. I'll get there. GGP, what I'm saying is. I'll shave your pal. Not, that's not 100% yeah. true. It's And that's. Uh, there's good, there's good and bad to this, and that's the truth. But now, Nancy Brown will send her car that is going to do the regulated 45 miles an hour on those streets, and then 55 on the other streets, yep. and that's going to be in the way of GGP, who's trying to get to the gym, who wants to do 55 on the 45 streets, and wants, you know. So these things are all going to intertwine. It's still going to affect you, but at the same time, one of the best things is, like, that's we're giving up. We're giving up some for other shit, and you know we're, we're giving, giving up, up our rights and our freedoms for convenience. Exactly. When you have right, and it's that's that, what they're that, doing. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's what you do with that convenience. Maybe in the hour and a half, uh, you uh, print three D uh, weapons, whatever it is, like no, you know, no, for the revolution. No, 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 what, no, when you got a <laughs> take it easy there, Lando. With well, the we're all, what we're all just about? what if? What if everybody who's doing GGP shit? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Stevie Richards fitness stuff. Everybody's doing that in the in the interim, right? Because they have that extra forty five minutes to, to right. focus and the people on who them. aren't doing Stevie Richards stuff, they're the ones who are turning into the Wally people. Yeah, yeah. And I I have to kind of I'll be split on this, but more on GGP's side. I was going to say Thank GGP you. yoga coming very soon. We'll be more <laughs> over than the other one, more honest at least. GGP so is anyway, uh, the uh, the thing is, we are at a time right now, and we have been at a time where knowledge is more accessible than ever. You can look anything up and get a YouTube video or Google anything and learn and, and better yourself. Mm -hmm. Yet people now feel like they're busier than ever with bullshit that doesn't mean anything. So an extra 45, and I know people, I had some training clients that were like, oh, I can just order stuff from Publix and have it delivered. I haven't food shopped in months. To me, that gives that takes away your ability, number one, to drive, your independence to go do th there's something of it. If you know, we're not hunters and gatherers much anymore. I know Ben is, and to some degree, other people are. But not this man, fucking you want to talk season. About, Fuck. So you want to take take away someone's ability to go out and even even just at least go out and get your food and pay for it and bring it back. There is still a, kind of like an inner hunter gatherer. Like I'm going to pick my food up. I'm going to plan out my week and do that. 
people with an extra 45 minutes or an hour, an hour and a half are not going to say, now I have an extra 45 minutes to be more productive. They're going to watch TV. They're going to bullshit. They're going to feel like they're busy, but they're not going to get anything done. Yeah, now I get to, you, now I get to, I have this 45 minutes between the time I go do this and the time I go pick up the kids. <laughs> now I get to do all that shit. I, I, it's exactly what you're saying. However, if you were to turn around and say, you're not allowed to, oh, you can't impinge on my rights like that. Impen- infringe? Infringe. Or infringe. Both actually yeah. impinge and infringe. Impinge. I right. feel like my neck's impinged right now. Mm-hmm. So right. <laughs> uh, I, just like, feel like, I just feel like really, really quick that, mm-hmm. that, these fucking I, I I live in like the backyard of backyard Hollywood I call it fucking Atlanta Georgia. These fuckers think they're so important. They're all yeah. entrepreneurs. All this bullshit. They all got some place to, to go. The entire and nobody, fucking and nobody. Highway. All right, be careful. I, I don't take the highway anyway, so I guess it's okay. So the the, the, the there's and it's not just here. It's everywhere else. This inflated sense of self importance. Social media gives that right there. These people feel so fucking important. By the way, if anything happens. You don't you don't witness the moment you get you get your uh, your camera and do an Instagram story and then start typing it right. out <laughs> while it's still going on. That we're we're completely fucked like that. Oh, by the way, Facebook that lets every company in the world read your private messages. Yeah. So that's been fucking yeah. put out too. So. Well, I mean, the, that is the argument at the end of the day. It's the convenience, the entertainment addiction, uh, and how quick uh, the want it. Now, instant gratification, bigger, faster, stronger versus shouldn't we test this first <laughs> mentality, common sense, and it's just going to be ushered in for commercialism um, so they can. Common sense isn't that common anymore, dude, well, unfortunately. The, I mean, the the big part of this is now everything in your house, you're going to want to be replaced. Smart oven, smart microwave, smart dishwasher, smart everything. And that's that's how they're gonna try and push it through, and then someone can say, "Oh man, it was so awesome! I did this and this, and I was able to get my laundry done, and you know, go and, and have all these extra conveniences in life because it happened." And what are we gonna trade off freedom wise? We'll see. And what Our they privacy. don't privacy. Oh, listen, privacy is right gone. Now, both, I, but I know, know, but it's gonna get worse. Yeah, I love it. The breaking news, by the way, I was just voted the most popular person in Atlanta. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. And you can get over just, to Russo Brand and vote on the year-end awards if you want to at RussoBrand.com right now as well. The most popular man in wrestling. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, just from the chat room, uh, I mean, a lot of people brought up great points, and I've been seeing them, guys, so for forgive me if we uh, haven't given you a shout-out. We've been pretty intense in a lot of these cool stories today. <laughs> talking to each other um uh, yeah i'm right sales wrong nick metal uh, 84 says 5g is going to make cancer rates go up even more it's already here there was a piece in one of the videos we watched today where they were uh, exposing it i'm not sure which city they were in but they're on top of a you know four or five story building and they were in like you know uh, a maintenance room on top of that that would have been for whatever electronics they open it up Inside this building, there was six 5G cell towers already putting out signal. Yeah. And they had talked about the this older lady who lived one and floor down, and she was 70, had cancer, and she, she was taking care of her 25-year-old son who just out of nowhere got cancer as well. So if you want to talk about <laughs> let's do some human testing in a controlled environment, here it is. You know, what I mean, this well, shit's it's going funny on. funny when they had the two pie charts. Not to cut you off, I'm no, sorry. It's fine. On the video where they had the two pie charts, where the you know the F, um, was it the FCC or whatever, mm-hmm. whatever, yeah. whatever the, the the acronym or the alphabet acronym is, that they had a pie chart that said, oh, our tests show that seventy percent is not harmful and thirty percent ionized is harmful. and ionized radiation and non ionized, right? And then and then. The other pie chart, which was conducted by people in the field mm. that handle radiation, specialists, doctors, scientists, whatever the case may be, had the complete opposite ratio where 70% was harmful, 30% was was not harmful. Mm. So let's let's face facts here. You're either going to go with those who know or those who are trying to push out an agenda just to, so they can get a better bottom line. And people are just aloof to the whole matter and they're not even paying attention and they don't actually, they don't care. And it's ridiculous because if we all said, hey, we don't want 5G, they're not going to push it. Yeah. 
Wait a minute. So you, what you're saying is like that. Hmm. So if a couple hundred architects and engineers say there's no way. 2,500 actually. 2,500. Mm. But, but a government owned and operated and employed National Institute of Research says different and everybody should believe the government owned one and not the 2,500 still active and certified uh, architects and engineers. Well, I, I, count, I'm just trying to clear to, it up. No, 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 just, just, just to add to that point, on top of that, we spend trillions of dollars on our defense systems and we get taken out by 19 hijackers with box cutters, not machetes, not uh, guns, box cutters, and they made three buildings fall down with two planes. They struck another building, but there wasn't a plane, any debris left. And another building that got another plane that got uh, that crashed. There was no wreckage anywhere to be found. Yet the guy who engineered everything is on a dialysis machine, and we couldn't find him. But yet a CNN reporter happened to stumble into his cave, trip and fall, and fall into the caves in order to to uh, interview him. So yes. You are correct, my friend. So I'm saying this is the same government that we need to trust with this pie chart and everything else about the 5G. Yeah. I'm Absolutely. just making I'm, sure. I'm still running, I'm running a little behind on this, but now ionized with ionized radiation, that's the shit on radios, right? Like right, so they're saying that, that that isn't, however... So like DJs, how come DJs aren't dying left and right? Because that's... Because of the, the volume. That's being <laughs> put out... They're dying on the air right now. The way, the <laughs> way radio frequency is, is they're put out really in a 10-foot segment of the the kilohertz that they're putting out so the fact that a radio signal can only travel that far they have to put out a hundred thousand of them at one time in order to get their broadcast out and x them out that way so it's small increments as in one the frequency is just one uh, wave it's not where 5g is very compact and in a much uh, wider array of how it will uh, affect people and how it will you know, right now we kind of go up and tap into it. This is going to go right through you, the difference. And another thing, the pros and cons to this whole 5G thing, they don't know what they don't. It, it doesn't match up. There's more cons than pros. What's the pros? We get faster Internet speed and better bandwidth. What's the cons? Well, our batteries will die a lot quicker. Now we have to adapt our phones and all our HD TVs and everything to to work with the 5G. So we have to buy additional add-ons and make everything more expensive. Then on top of that, uh, there's certain parts where the, the the waves won't go through, won't go through a wall, won't go through an alley, won't go through a tree or another human being. So if you're holding your phone the wrong way and you're covering the battery, guess what? You your movie that you want to watch or your video you want to watch, it won't it, it won't play. So no, it, it will. It's just the fact that f 4G towers, might... 4G towers cover a lot farther. These are going to have. This is the purpose. So they can say that as the drawback of the technology. I agree. You're going to get all the great uh, speeds and bigger, faster, stronger. But we have to put up more of these mini towers. So it's not a big tower. Yeah. It's just these little ones, the size of a refrigerator. And you know, it's the just trees. What yeah. about the trees? But when you go when you go to the next block, you're just going to click over to the next cell tower. They're just going to be everywhere yeah, and invasive. They were saying that if you have a, a cell phone and you're holding it and you're watching a video or something, and by actually your, your thumb goes over a certain part of your phone, and the and the, the, the antenna, yeah, the, yeah, you know the antenna part of your phone, and, and you cover it, you'll lose it. You'll lose what you're watching, and then you have to shift your hand, and then it has to reload and start all over again. What the fuck's no. the point? You remember back in the day with the fucking so can, chocolate phones and the flip phones, those antennas you could put over your battery? Yeah. Yeah. The little stickers you'd be able to slap <laughs> over your battery. They don't sell those anymore. No. Like, why not? The, the whole purpose of getting there, GGP, with 5G is so we can finally get to 6G where we need to be. I mean, that's what this this whole thing is about. It's so 5G can fail so we can six, finally. 6 6 6G. 6 6 6 g That's what's coming That's the next. name of the show, 6 6 g <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so... Uh, we'll we'll see how it affects and, and who it affects next because go ahead. I got your t-shirt. I just got it right now. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash Ben Hameen. 5G face slap and it's it's a, a coffin underneath it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. It's a skull. Excellent. Yeah, I got to get a couple new ones out there, pal. I do got some good ideas for that. <clears throat> uh, where are we at? 815. 
Uh, we can wrap it up or maybe do one or two from the mailbag if you guys want. To. Oh, one thing I wanted to bring up, actually, before we get off of 5G, uh, and this tie back into McCain. How about the scar on his face after the brain surgery from the blastoma? Did you guys see the scar on his face? No, but I heard about it. It's right where a cell phone would go. Dude, but it, looks, it looks like if you just held a phone right there. like It's like you can see a phone without it being there. I'm going to try and find it real quick. Somebody take the mic. I'm going to look this up. Playing too much poker. Yeah, I'm looking at the scar too. Yeah. So, guys, in general, 5G is bad. Yeah. And we're all going to die. Okay, what would you rather have, 5G or the chip in your arm with all your identification? I, Looks like both. Nia Jax might as well get both. Face. Yeah, Nia Jax fucked uh, him up. What would I rather have? If you have to pick one. 5G. Because if, the, the 5G can be blocked by the walls. You can wear a tin suit, a shiny silver suit like Puffy and Mace. Question and number two. Would Hold the on, of Jericho the... block the 5G? I don't know. That's a good question. But you know what? If you do the SRF fitness fitness uh, 16 week band program, you'll get all buff and stuff, and you'll be able to block the 5Gs. Like <laughs> <laughs> you could Stevie kick the waves right out of your fucking house. <laughs> you know, he can't promise you flat Earth, but he'll promise you flat abs. So you're good to go. Coming soon. What was the question again, Ben? Uh, I just needed somebody to take the mic for real quick because I just got that picture. I was going to throw Want it up my... on OB OBS. Yeah, I heard an awesome Meltzer's... fucking... I heard Mel Dave Meltzer has 7G. <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's also got... As he's also got the drill, though. So. Yeah, uh, Armand, a little late on the fucking joke guy. We already covered that. Yeah, Armand, go fuck Jericho, yourself. Thank you. Ha -ha. Yeah, I just, did that. I just put there this up in OBS, but that scar on his face, man... Just how vertical it is <laughs> down his jaw. It, it looks just like uh, no resistance like bands. Hold, hold the Tokyo cell phone Dome. there. Oh man, five G, eight G hit Tokyo Dome. Right, let's do a couple Dome. emails. All right, uh, da, 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 da. where did I go with it? Right there it is. Um, <clears throat> the Grateful Dead and discovering Bigfoot from Chris T. Space Mountain at Mail dot com. <clears throat> Greetings all, love the podcast. I have a question and a comment. You once mentioned some conspiracies surrounding the Grateful Dead. Would like to hear some of the conspiracies surrounding the band. I watched Discovering Bigfoot on Netflix, and I have a couple questions. As you guys would say, this was a work. If Sasquatch was consistently eating apples from Targeted Place, uh, putting up an f put up an effing trail cam. Um, dude, just say fucking. You don't gotta say effing to me. Uh, footprints. Uh, this Joker uh, tried to convince that some. Disturbed moss was a footprint. Come on now. Uh, why do all these Bigfoot researchers only find a footprint or a couple of footprints? Ben, you know you can track an 80-pound deer through the woods for miles following its footprints. That's true. Uh, yet the big guy, who's apparently hundreds of pounds, only leaves a couple footprints here and there and not tracks. I want to believe it, uh, but my research is leading me down the non-believer path. Thank you, gentlemen. Pop huge when GGP and Ben uh, do Vince. Re uh, cheers uh, from Rick. Thanks, Nature Boy. Uh, it spells it like flair. Um, so, yeah, I saw that too in the moss thing. This could be it right here. No, that was yeah. bullshit as a tracker myself. Um, I, I believe, though, man, the, that Yellowstone footage where they're walking with the buffaloes out there, there's like three or four of them. Uh, I have seen some, you know, foot castings and in, in, in snow prints, which is when it's the easiest time to track any animal, uh, obviously after a rain or when there's fresh snow on the ground. And um, there's just a lot of vocalizations and a lot of people, I really, you know, <laughs> play in a lot of these backwoods Kentucky towns and then seeing shows that you know are work like um, – Bigfoot hunters, right, with the the team of four there. I want to kill Bigfoot. Right. But when you see the people in the town hall and they have – and they're giving their experience, as workers, when we try and look through bullshit – Believe me, I've played a lot of shows in front of the backwater people, and I know when they're full of shit or when they might not be. And there's a couple of those that are really true testimonies to me. Sal, what do you think? Uh, well, the, again, they they yeah. want yeah. yeah they want to believe, they want yeah. to belong, they wanna they want to come up and say, well, I saw one that came up to my house and it fucking finger banged my daughter, and they want to get that across, and they 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 believe it, they believe it a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, so, there's a couple, sure, that are in for the, we're going to be on TV, Carl. No, and, no, but, but they're, not even, they're not even trying to hey, sensationalize Paul, it. TV. Right, they're not. Like they, they don't want to put that over. They want to be believed because they've been holding this for, right. I was 13 and finger bang my daughter. Yeah. And, it, like, 
They but, were they want they just want people to believe that. So it's not they're not trying to get over. They're not trying to get their fifteen minutes. <laughs> they just want to be believed. But some of them I do believe that their daughter yeah, got no, no, finger banged by Bigfoot. Oh, well, it's true. <laughs> And we's going to oh, have a wedding. Character, Master Chief yeah. Theater, finger yeah. banging hot dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finger bang, finger bang McCoy. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to marry my daughter, Bigfoot. If you're going to finger bang her, you're going to put a ring on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to marry her when I'm done with her. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't even freshly divorced yet. We're only separated. My daughter cousin is my favorite wife. <laughs> <clears throat> you said you loved me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, I, I, also, the only conspiracy I don't ever remember talking about the Grateful Dead was that they were an actual good band. Yeah, yeah they're, they're to, in my. What, everybody has heat with it. What? No, there there is something I can't remember what the, what the conspiracy something is. With Jerry Garcia in something. the CIA. Yeah. There's something CIA connection and there. Elvis also. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll have to take a look more into that. You know. Um, we did pass around. There was a lot of hot action even this week, uh, even though it was a kind of a bullshit story too that uh, we had uh okay he's doing a Corey feldman on us leading us down a path without giving us anything yes. this dude put out a video about that he has the evidence that tupac was in contact with castro and cuba that they made the way and all that was a, a worked hit to get him out of the country uh, to get to avoid cia and then who knows if he's still in cuba or he went to indonesia where he's been spotted there as well but this guy hasn't come back with his proof yet, but, uh, you know, kind of shook things up. And especially after we saw Suge Knight's kid put out some weird shit right after Suge got, uh, you know, sentenced. Up. Yeah, Knighted. sentenced. Yeah. But I thought that guy had the goods. He kept saying, I got the goods. Yeah, well, I he's, got- I can't, <laughs> that's why I said it was a, that's why I said it was a Corey Feldman job. We'll see if he comes back with anything or not, you know? Yeah. Of course. <clears throat> well, let one, me ask you a question. Got one real video quick. left and then I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> do you like pina coladas while you're tracking squats in the rain <laughs> yeah i do no i okay. don't uh, I, I don't like just asking uh, just asking i just want to know you know me i drink I, I drink evan williams i think i think i really think we need to go back up to new york and look for bigfoot and it's, wait wait it's not a good and I spot think we, no don't listen to me because it's successful apparently on tv because we need to get some locals and we need to let them lead the hunt. And then we need to, when they, when they cut the camera to us, we need to go, hmm. <laughs> no. Oh. Ooh. What was the, what was, what do I, what kind of device do I have here, Sal? What oh, is this? Uh, let me take my thermal tracking. I hear it. Who's out there? <laughs> Who's there? So uh, this is my professional 98 pound guy. <laughs> He's my professional. He's Mr. Bubbles from Trailer He's my Park Squatch Boys. Hunter. <laughs> For fuck's sakes, dude. Our <laughs> friggin' our little 15-minute paranormal investigation, by the way, which got activity, was much more like uh, I, I don't even man, that was I think if we would have took if we what's her name? Alice? The, the nice girl. Just my Alice. Grace. Uh Julie. Oh, Julie. Not that Julie. Julie? Yeah. We need to take her and, and throw her in front of you and be like, Are there ghosts? <laughs> yeah. Ghosts? <laughs> And then we we would have been believed, or if, if we would have cut to us, if you would, if you would have did better gimbal work, and cut to us. Wow, that Dude. gimbal was a defect, if, by the way. If you would have cut to us, going. Yeah, we should have done some outtakes. We would later. definitely we would have been over way mm-hmm. more. Oh, I, I, I smell, I smell just, just open the money's in alien like, gold, bro. Yeah. We, we, I, we, I we smell a huge way. parody of that of that Jericho show coming very soon with lots what of like. It was pretty good. Yeah, let me get my special space filter out. By of the here. way, <laughs> by the way, the bloop, the, bloop, the blooper reel, special space. It detects five G. <laughs> Hang on, let me. I'm gonna look through the special water filter. It detects. It makes sure you can see real Bigfoot's like their their hmm. their heat signature. He was and holding up. Inter- his and Ali, phone? and Ali, interested with Jericho again? Do it again, please. <laughs> You were so hot. You were so mad. I couldn't believe it. I could not fucking believe it. Like weeks after, hey guys, I'll come on the show. It'll be great, eh? That'll be fun, right? Yeah, that'll be wonderful. I'd love to come on the show. And then, what do we see? Hunting, hunting monsters or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Chris Jarrett. And then to have this fucking one tooth. And everywhere they went, everywhere they went, they had to stop at a restaurant to talk. 
We have to talk about it first. I got to talk to some experts. Experts well, mean they weren't drunk in the afternoon. <laughs> so they spoke to these people at a restaurant. And we were in New Orleans, so of course we had to eat. Never showed a person eating a fucking thing. <laughs> But whatever, they had to eat at a restaurant. So they're at a restaurant, and every time they fucking cut to him, he's mugging for the camera going, hmm. 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 Oh. And then they talk to this backwoods one-tooth woman and her kid, and they're like, okay, so tell us about what, what you heard about the fucking the stinky man of the I swamp. work in New Orleans very often, by the way. I don't know if I should put that out there. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well then, don't do this to these people because well, don't look for monsters because I'll have to eat a lot and I'll have yeah, to. Because like, then talk Steve will have to eat a lot and talk to you, and then he'll have to go. Hmm, really? Hmm. He'll never and get. He'll, have, he'll never get that far because GGP's Twitter will kill that deal before anything else. Uh, he'll have to Twitter. How am I trying to kill the deal? <laughs> he'll have to put uh, over what nonsense you're talking. And you're, He's already you're, tweeted Jericho and said, I, I don't, I, I, I didn't say a word during this whole segment. Hey, I look, didn't say anything. You know, I couldn't say it. And first of all, I'm cutting you off, so go fuck yourself. First These guys, of all. Shits, I'm still, I'm still available for the fucking cruise. Yeah, we're on. Uh, yes, I'm still available for the cruise out there, Jericho, if you're listening. But regardless of the fact, I will tighten um, your life vest for you. Yeah. Conspiracy horse man. I didn't even see the show, so I can't comment. Oh, saw, conspiracy, yeah, yeah. conspiracy seahorse no, I man. I saw you make a funny show. <laughs> That's exactly what the fucking show was. Whatever, I don't. We're care. gonna find the swamp man in Louisiana, are you? And then he brought some guy who looked like he had fucking AIDS on the fucking outside <laughs> of him, and he this allegedly. Hey, yeah. It might get dangerous. I'm gonna bring professional help. This is nerdly nerdstrom, and the guy. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. And he looked like he was getting fucking blown up sitting on the on the canoe with with Jericho. And then Jericho's like, well, I heard, did you guys hear that? Did you hear it? I'm going to use my flare uh, night vision camera. Uh, it's your phone, bro. What are you doing? If you download, that's a gimmick. That's a gimmick app. It's not real. You can't really <laughs> detect heat on your phone. Hello? <laughs> Who's out there? Can it detect heat in the locker room or no? No. Because <laughs> heat from this podcast. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I, I was going to say, because otherwise we're good. We're, we'll be all right. If, he, if he's got it on right now, we're fucked. Like, that's just it right there. How about the next email? Oh, uh, one more. I can't wait here. for the Twitter. I can't wait for the Lords of Pain or Wrestling.com. GGP buries Chris Jericho that's podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that fucking Canadian. Just tell him. If you're hot, say you're hot. Yeah. I don't have any heat with him. Um, <laughs> a cool information to offer from uh, Chris Martin. Hey, Ben, I must say your shows are fantastic. In particular, I love the Conspiracy Horseman and the Impact Attack. As it pertains to Conspiracy Horseman, I want to pass along some cool information if you're interested. With, the, with that being, my great-grandmother was a member of Jim Jones Church during the time Whoa. that they were located in San Francisco, California. I have various stories to share if given the opportunity. Also, my great-grandfather on the opposite end of my family was a member of the Secret Service of the German Army serving with Hitler uh, on a personal basis. If interested in knowing more, please let me know as I feel the information that I was given would be good, uh, would be helpful into giving you more insight to these subjects that were controversial yet fascinating. At the same time, as a quick side note, yes, I had a Nazi in my family, but in no way, shape, or form do I personally endorse the ideology that was shown during those times uh hope to hear back soon uh continue to keep up the great work y'all uh, wow uh very interesting email yeah man yeah. what's um, the name what was the dude's name again uh chris martin um chris martin. i'll be i'm happy to send a response on there and uh, see if we can guy from coldplay uh, nobody knows any of the band members from Coldplay. Fuck. <laughs> Even the guys in the band are like, who the fuck are you, dude? <laughs> who are you? Who are you <laughs> um, good to see you, brother. Uh, and, you know, I definitely would like to talk more because we did the Hunting Hitler episode. So, did you, didn't you tell me one of your family members was in uh, World Coldplay? War II? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, that was my, that, my grandfather. He died in the concentration oh. camp. Okay. Hey. My, yeah. my grandfather was a master sergeant. He was at the uh, Nuremberg trials where they hung the underlings, where they passed sentence on all that. He was the stenographer. Yeah, my grandfather, he, he died in one of the concentration camps because uh, he uh, fell out of the tower shooting a runaway Jew, and he was like, ah, and he fell out of the tower. So, yeah, tragic. that's what happened. It's tragic. <laughs> God. I was waiting for GGP yeah. to, to knock Jericho again, like when he's reading the email and doing this. Perfectly, that was, that was exactly. 
<laughs> they should have. They should have just hired oh, a T six hundred, and your grandfather would be here with us. He could have just sat in the rail. Yeah, he just sat there. Did it. Jesus, when is when is this going to end? Headache for all this heat. <laughs> uh, well, may, see how much heat we got. Somebody check on their phone on the heat meter. See, Wait, check the like, flare. No, we're doing all right. Okay, we're no, good. We're, we're, we're in the limits. We're still, we're, we're still in the we're still, range. We're good. Yeah, we're still in the green yellow. We're okay. Fine. Okay. Good. Um, and yeah, uh, Jim Jones call is definitely one we want to touch on. We've seen the pictures, yeah. the aftermath, and well, I watched were, a documentary. When they were in, in California, that's when he was still in his hippie phase. That's before yeah. he went, like, uh, before he, you know, died. <laughs> well, before he went, uh, fucking uh, full ape shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Because it's sad that they all died. I don't want to make fun of that. Whatever. Um, sure. <laughs> you know, uh, the, as far as next week <laughs> goes. Of all the Jews that died in concentration. Yeah, right now. I didn't make fun of any Jews that died in the concentration camp. I made a joke about my grandfather falling out of a, a sniper tower. That's a different <laughs> thing. I didn't make yeah. fun of any Jews that died in the concentration camp. He's just doing his job. Um, <clears throat> oh, oh, it's allegedly. <laughs> I'm just died. trying to stay out of litigation, my friend. I'm trying to keep us. I'm trying to keep us Squaresville. Yeah, well, uh, um, <laughs> but Jim Jones, definitely a show we want to look into. One thing I want to, and, you know, we talked Sal about your dad passing, and I just actually watched an awesome episode this week's of Curse of Oak Island. And I know yeah. you guys might be pretty far behind on that, so I don't know if you just want to do any independent study, but I really want to do a show to honor your dad that way, and I've watched the whole series, man. So, <laughs> he loved that show. Yeah, so I, I think that'd be something fun for us to do, and, in this season, man, uh, with what they've been doing and what they found from the past two seasons, there's some incredible shit going on Knights Templar wise and re- rewriting history of long before Christopher Columbus. So uh, it's it's very interesting of what's happening right now there, and um, uh, I look forward. In two weeks, they're having the big show uh, on it where they may have found the, s- the 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 Templar stone that was in there that that had all the carvings and shit on it so uh yeah. i definitely like to do that right around new year's but um we'll be back next week uh is day after christmas right is the 26th is wednesday so uh you guys gonna be all right to do shows i, I don't want to hold your feet to the fire if you wouldn't be around give you time all right I'm so good. we'll be back oh, on, wait 26 uh, yeah. i might no i won't i don't think i'll be here okay. i'll try to bring i'll be, be on the road i'll try to be there <clears throat> Heading to, <clears throat> what's that Heading to Jerusalem to be in the live nativity scene. <laughs> Actually, I am going. I am going to see the Christmas lights. I have to go see family. Is that, in, is that in uh, nice. North Pole? Side Antarctica. Antarctica. You know, Antarctica. Get the SRF fitness program to the elves at the fucking North Pole. Yes, the, make, Stevie, Richards, the Stevie Richards fitness fitness program. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Got to make them produce more. Slackers. <clears throat> But yeah, Work those that's day a year. two interesting emails, guys. We got to look yeah. into Jerry Garcia here, and um, I think Bigfoot's out there. I think he's just uh, there's a, there's just few of them. They're small species. They have been captured. Some of the video footage I've seen is real. When it comes to the the other one, uh, Nazis and Jim Jones in one email. I mean, uh, congratulations to you, sir. You're a conspiracy baby all the way. So for fuck's sake, that's that is an amazing pedigree he's got. Yeah. I mean, there's I'm, a lot I'm of serious. there's like a lot this. of people in his family who can be brainwashed easily by mass uh, communicators. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a good email. It's no Goodman yeah. compressor, but well, what is at this point? Yeah. <laughs> is he okay? By the way. Yeah, he is wrote he us another the... one. I I, hadn't, okay. I didn't get into it. It's just. Uh, uh, Good. Sticking to the plan. Am uh, I kidding? <laughs> Good. Uh, but uh, Sally, man, glad to have you back, buddy. What do you got going Thanks, on man. going into Christmas season here, bro? Dog shit. Fuck Christmas. Uh, Yellow. Yeah. Uh, horror junkyard. Uh, you got any? Uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually uh, we're gonna go over actually one of Big Ray, who was in here earlier tonight. Um, Big Ray had, had mentioned to me. He's like, hey, check out Cooties. I had checked it out before, and I rewatched. It was a great movie. Um, we're going to try something a little different. So, uh, I, I just was one of those that we're going to probably do it on Sunday. We're probably going to record because like I said, shit's been fucked up the past week or two. And well, so yeah. we've been, uh, we've been behind again. So, well, I'm not too worried. I mean, just wondering, touching base, obviously it's holidays. So if you guys get together, that's fine. If not, uh, keep an eye out guys, hit them up at, the horror junkyard at protonmail.com. If you want to, I always forget that. that's is all that, good, is that, man. Is that I got the you. CERN server? 
It is the <laughs> CERN server at the hard junkyard at protonmail.com. It's a secure <laughs> service. You can send whatever you want. So if you want to send us some uh, interesting shit. Um, and Just don't uh, send this... any wiener. Child. Yeah, what happened to the witch Wait, from what happened to the witch from Tennessee who used to send us nice cleavage shots? Where's her stuff? I haven't seen her in a while. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Uh, yeah, allegedly. <laughs> she's uh she's doing okay. She's uh she's hanging on. Obviously, hanging on uh, you know, I don't wanna get on the bad side of any witches, but she she cast all those spells to <laughs> Get on our show and get us on, and uh, I don't know, man. And here's here's the thing: I don't think she that followed was the through. Jericho. They filtered over to Jericho for the monster. Oh, show. it was another <laughs> one. He stole our spells. And if you know what, here's the thing: yeah, if she had, if she didn't have a full set of teeth, she'd have probably showed up on the Jericho show. <laughs> but she had all of her teeth, and she doesn't have eleven kids, so <laughs> can't possibly have her on. Well, there's still time for our Christmas wishes to come true. <laughs> GGP, what's going on with you, man? How many uh, presents you got to wrap still? Shitload. <laughs> I figured. I figured. He's, he's up putting up, put, trying to put together um, bikes and tricycles. What's going on? Yeah, you know, trying to trying to do all that. But um, let's see, the 28th, I'm at uh, Jersey for Crowbar Show's uh, show. Uh, and then the 29th, I'm in uh, Long Island uh, for NYWC. So that's that's nice. the last two shows of the year for me. Um, other than that, let's see what else is going on. Oh, I mean, obviously, uh, keep my foot, my my ear to the ground. Hearing all these Star Wars rumors coming around. Foot to the ground. No, my my ear to the ground. I said <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but I changed my my keep thing mid sentence. Foot mid-sentence. your ass. Um, uh, <laughs> my foot up my ass. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Trying to suffocate that gerbil, that <laughs> fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, regardless of the fact, um, that's basically it, man. Uh, other than that, you guys can just uh, follow me on Twitter, Greek God Papadon, Facebook, Demetrius Papadon. May start an Instagram. I don't know. Everyone's telling me to do it. Um, Pro Wrestling Tees backslash Greek God Papadon. Greek God Papadon t-shirts, Conspiracy Horseman t-shirts. Make great presents for your loved ones. Um, and my YouTube channel, Greek God Papadon. So you can find me on all those outlets in uh, social media world. Awesome, man. Uh, check him out. He's in their backyard uh, in Long Island here at the end of the year. Two two chances left to go see him and support great indie wrestling uh, with our boys, Luke Hawks, and YWC, two great uh, organizations who hook us up, and we want to make sure that their uh, stands are packed with fans. So get out and see him, guys. Stevie, uh, you've been working hard too, man. Uh, that doesn't internet, mean he's your internet's going again. Is it? Your internet's going again. Yeah, uh, he's, he's rubber banding, right? Can you see bing, me? Bing, 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 bing. Am I banging? Yeah. All I heard you that GGP is working a backyard fed with Luke Hawks. <laughs> yeah, is that what you just in said? That's what I heard him say. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I said he's working in a backyard. Because he did it in wrestling with Luke I Hawks said... and GGP. <laughs> <laughs> It was very strange. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Will be breaking close. fluorescent <laughs> lights over Luke Hawks's head in somebody's backyard ring. It's like we we're yeah. just around, about to run out of storage on Podbean and you just had it rushed in like <laughs> megabytes. I said, I down. didn't say anything about backyard wrestling. I said, go support him at the end of the year. I think. I swear it's, it's in backyard. <laughs> backyard, right? I heard backyard too, dude. Yeah, but I, I see the OBS is shitting the bed. So uh, Stevie, uh, they know the program, StevieRichardsFitness.com. Uh, at BWO Stevie, at Stevie Richards on Instagram. What do you want to put over, man? Go for it. There's, I don't know how well, I have that. They're, they're and also, uh, you know, I want everybody to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. If they can, I put up that, that uh, video about fit. I put up Backyard Wrestling, Luke Hawk, <laughs> Pop it on. on uh, 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 Match uh, of the uh, day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, match of the day. Ah, fuck it. You know where to go. Yeah, you guys know what's <laughs> up. It'll be on it'll be on the bumper of this anyway. Uh get ahead, get started on the Christmas season. Hit all our pro wrestling tea store. I'm at Ben underscore I mean. Conspiracy horseman at gmail dot com. There's a couple others we'll get into on the mailbag next episode, you guys. Uh, have a safe and happy holiday. Tune in. Stevie and I will be doing the locker room impact attack. Everything's going to be hitting on all cylinders. So when you're home alone bored, uh, go ahead, buddy. You got something? Uh, quick question. I have found, I've come across an unused, brand new Condom. FBI shirt. Whoa. Okay. I have never had them. Like, I, like everybody's like, oh, you got to. I have never had a T-shirt. Guido kept all of them. I have a T-shirt that I, I want to give away to somebody in the audience. Oh, wow. So if y'all come up with something, find a way we can figure out who's going to get it. Let's yeah. give it to somebody. We'll do, we'll somebody do. except Armand. 
Yeah. Yeah, everybody but Armand is available for this. You know, you know I, I might say uh, <laughs> of the top <laughs> top of my list right now, because he's not that everybody, we don't appreciate all the bits that you guys cheer, but Geppetto's kind of gone above and beyond. Yeah, so I some, think he'd be and, a great you know, one. That's actually, I just, I'm washing it now. Never been worn. It's just, it's old. It's fucking old as fuck, like, <laughs> like I am. So, um, and it's, Sabu. it's honestly the reason that it's rare. I, I've never had merch. I, like, I've never kept any of it. I gave it all away the minute I got it. And so now I have some. And did you find what, it in a what, corner? What, the picture. It was, it's the, it's the new FBI with the badge and then F, B, and then me and Guido are the eye. Nice. Oh, Guido on my nice. shoulders is the eye. So, like, those were like, they came out for like 30 seconds. Do you think so, New, New Jack actually took it and used it as a jizz rag at the ECW arena and they just you found it in the corner there? Is that what happened? It was stuck to the wall. And actually, <laughs> a, it was hard. I had to pry it off. So <laughs> I had to use his Wolverine claws to pry it off. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I mean, uh, it's going to be a good prize. We'll try and figure out, but I think it would yeah. be awesome. So whatever, whatever uh, you guys want to do with it, I want to give it to somebody in the audience because everybody is very cool. Except Armand, go fuck yourself, Armand. <laughs> I've also got uh, gauntlets from for at, at Steve the Shoe Man uh, to give away too. So we'll do some uh, more giveaways, maybe right here at the end of the year before we even go over to the New Year. Yeah. So, uh, but we appreciate you guys. Uh, glad to be back in uh, four conspiracy horsemen full strength here with all the brothers getting our ribs in and getting our shit in on each other after uh, we we miss big sale a lot. So we'll be back next week, day after Christmas. Take this time to wake somebody up in your family. Be that asshole at the table. Try not to get too emotional about it. Just say some truths and uh, drop a pebble in the pond. You might wake somebody up this holiday season, and that's the best gift of all. And a $5 face slap. (laughs) Y'all